Who's that? That's the girl. The one with the cursed mark. The one that lost her family. Shh, shh, shh. Don't say it too loud. She can hear you. This summer comes a shocking thriller you don't want to miss. I dispersed 50 of my best men looking for the beast. They're crafty. I'm sorry for your loss, but ma'am, I can't spend every day of my life looking for some fucking goblins! Lisbeth, you gotta think about your family. Would they want you going on some crazy adventure to avenge their deaths over some fucking goblins? No! Let me get this straight. You come into my blacksmith, ask me to make a weapon for you to kill some fucking goblins that killed your family, and you expect me to bend over backwards just for you? I'd call you madman, but you're not much of a man. So, you've piqued my interest. I gotta ask, just who the fuck are you? I am Lisbeth Slender. Based on a movie that's based on a book. What do you mean she's missing? Bring me that girl! A movie not directed by David Fincher. Once you set your mind to something, girl, you never stop. That's what makes you so terrified. <laughs> Nominated for no awards as of yet. Hint, hint, corporate media. Wait a second. Wait. Oh, 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 Who are you? I am the girl with the dragonborn tattoo. Breathtaking. Some guy. Simply a shocking tale. Fox News. You will call the one and only racist Fumo poster in. The only good goblin is a dead goblin. The girl with the dragonborn tattoo. Coming to a podcast near you this fall. Prisoners of Gazar is an actual play mature D&D podcast. Our players, Dongle playing Amp, Grouchy Nuts playing Roland, Taylor playing Andy, Tindler is playing Satch, and NPC playing Stumbo. I want to give a big shout out to a friend of the podcast, Snape is Daddy, for coming up with the idea of the character that was inspired that made the cheesy intro that you just heard. And without further ado, let's get right into it. In the last session, you guys negotiated a fun trade with a woman that went poorly, as always. It went poorly for certain people. I personally am fine with this outcome. Yeah, so... Also, I think penis theft isn't a crime. <laughs> so, main thing is, uh, your characters will be... Wait, or we're going to be jumping to the morning after you, or your vision right yeah, there. Yeah, the morning after. Yeah, the morning after that vision. And, uh, like, you wake up and you kind of remember everything that you saw in that. Not sure if that was a dream or a vision itself. You know, it's up to you to reflect on what you might have saw. Everybody wakes up in their bed, <laughs> except for Amp, who is downstairs, uh, having been visited by Harold and Jared again. Harold and uh, do uh, Amp, you remember what Harold and Jared told you, right? Yeah. Okay, so everybody comes downstairs, and I'm going to say, Amp, 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 what are you doing right now? Are you still messing with your healer's kit and stuff? Yeah, I'm still practicing. I'm still practicing. So, uh, Barkeep comes in again, and everybody is downstairs now. He, he's like, uh, offers a breakfast and brings it out. And it's, you know, about an hour or two goes by of just, you know, chatting, nonchalant chatting. And we'll say that, like, this event happens. Like, the bartender is like, and that's when I took out his eye and said, see you later. And everybody laughs. This is a funny joke. Uh, as, as he says that awesome punchline and someone says Zingo, uh, the front door Bazinga. of the tavern. No, Zingo, not Bazinga. No, it's, Don't you no, dare. No, it's got to be Zingo. <laughs> Don't you dare. We are not Big Bang Theory, theory people here. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, the whole Dude, universe was in a hot, dense state and nearly 14 million years. Can we continue on? Sorry. The front door of the tavern starts. Expansion. To... <laughs> the front door of the tavern 
the the door to the tavern starts having a loud banging sound <laughs> on it, and uh, as uh, as it gets like really bad, the bartender goes to open it. Oddly enough, they won't. They don't. Uh, the door's locked because you know it's still early morning. He opens up and it's Johnny Two Hands, and he's like, he's like, barkeep. He he's like Peter, Peter. It's some it's something happening in the middle of town. It's some freaks here. And Damn. Peter Peter's like. Freaks! Stop oh. breathing, Grouchy! You freak! Yeah, who your mic? I'm like, I'm like a fan. So, uh, he, uh, Peter turns around to you guys and he's like, "Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to head out. You guys can uh, feel free to head out when you need. I want to see what's going on." And they they take off out the door. Are you guys following them? To the center of town? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Alright, so as you guys head down to the center of town, uh, there's a large crowd gathered where the arm re- wrestling uh, duo was actually at. And uh, except the two guys that are usually there are not. It's uh, about seven people in red cloaks. And one of them has like is like fastening this kind of wooden box to stand on and he's it's taking a, a little bit it's weird because it's like a pop-out wooden box and he's he's struggling with it quite a bit in uncomfortably long amount of time and he finally gets it set up he sets stands on top of it and he looks out and he's like good people brothers sisters family men family women children family guy family guy he, he points back he's like People who are family guys. <laughs> I come to you today bringing great news and the word. The word of the cult of the firing. Word, word. Bird. bird is word. Bird is word. Word is bird. Uh, he, the, he hears the mummering of everybody around. And he's just like, he's like, ah, people, people. I oh, bring no, the word the of the firing. This firing that has been above your town. You have been chosen. However, Seven days the people who have been challenged or chosen may stay here. If you are willing to open your mind to a new world, step forward. Because we is, will protect same... you from this. And he points up. To the ring of fire. Yep. Now this is the same arm wrestling people that we were told to stay away from, right? These are not arm wrestling people. The arm wrestling people are not there. It's seven people in red cloaks. One Ah, standing on a soapbox. These are the, yeah. He he directly just said he was part of the cult of the fire ring. I don't know how you're confused already. (laughs) I'm not. I'm not. You just asked two questions (laughs) that let me know you're confused. No, I'm not confused. You just said where the people were playing arm wrestle. They're not there. These people are standing in their spots. I don't know if you know they were still doing arm wrestling, but no, they're offering protection from. You know what? They're basically thir- offering thirty, the door 30 feet away on the outside of the crowd. You see, like the big guy sitting at a table, and the little guy's like, "Hey, <laughs> hey, why nobody come over here? I come over here and wrestle." Because as much as I want to fuck with these little uh, the cult people, I also want to arm wrestle the people who are not supposed to arm wrestle. That's are you view. stupid? <laughs> no, I have um, an idea. I would like to raise my hand and step forward and say I volunteer as tribute with three fingers raised, tailed high. So, so he, <laughs> he immediately puts his hands up. He's like, not tribute. You're, you're joining us as brethren. Brethren, sister in, whatever you choose. But you're not As tribute. an auntie. I'll be an auntie. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, step forward. And uh, some people, he's like, actually. I would like to hop forward. So uh, I rolled that. I rolled a cruise, or persuasion check on everybody, or that guy's persuasion check on the crowd. The crowd's actually kind of like into it, and so he's like, "Everybody who wishes to join, congregate over here and form a line. I will start indoctrinating you and giving you the words of where we go." So <clears throat> I would like to stay stand beside the line, but still holding a place in line. And PC, really. Yeah, you're this one of those. Your people. time. I am not going to follow direction. What? What would That's I what, do? What do you mean? What would you do? These are people we need to get rid of. What? We were gonna kill them? 
Bro. Uh, NPC, you are a representative for a cult. Use your word. Dude, so, I'm, I'm, I'm going to continue honest. on since NPC know. doesn't know what's going on at all. Yeah, NPC doesn't yeah. know what's going on again. The bathroom threw me off. I've been thinking about that. He said it four times. These are the people NPC, in the why don't you just shoot them? How about that? Shoot them. I don't, guess we're in a straight you know, line. I don't. This is gonna be the greatest idea considering the crowd is eating up whatever the fuck they're doing. But you know what? If you want to do that, I won't stop you, but I also won't help Actually, you. Actually, Taco, Taco, can I stand? Them? Can what I stand directly fuck? behind the guy who said form a line in front of him so he can say the words? Like, I want to stand right behind him, facing his shoulders, facing the entire line. Uh huh. Can I do that? No. Because he'll have his other people with him. Why would you be able to... Like, everybody forms a line in front of him, and he's going to be let one person stand directly behind him. Imagine how stupid... Yes. You know what? Yes, I, I would Give like, me no, a I would stealth like roll at disadvantage. Get a what? You know stealth what? roll at disadvantage. Yeah, because I want to do that and offer him a massage. A shoulder massage. Stealth roll? Oh, wait, own. okay, so you, you want him to know you're there. So persuasion yeah. roll. Persuasion, persuasion. Passive wisdom persuasion, that's what we're doing. <clears throat> persuasion. Oh, shit. What'd I get, What'd I get baby? My power's flickering. This is the end. I got a 10. So, you... <clears throat> how do you ask this person? Go ahead. Move your microphone up away, like, above your nose. Pretty please. Uh -oh. <laughs> Fucking okay. mouth breathing okay. to the loudest Sorry. extent. <laughs> Um, I would like to walk so, up to him. Go ahead, um, go ahead. Let's, let's do it. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, I'm hopping up to him. I'm, I'm bouncing up to him. And I say, to show my loyalty, I would love to hear all the words of wisdom you tell everybody. Could I offer you a massage since you're going to be standing here for a while? So the, the man looks at you and he goes, <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I'm uh, as beautiful as you are. I'm not into your kind. Uh, but uh, I am willing to accept you. Just still get in the line. And the rest of his, or like three or four of his congregation is like behind him. Um, and they look like they're preparing something. NPC. He's not here. Dude, my fucking power is I right. literally just uh, asked you'll be fine. Talk with the strongest sense of fucking deja vu. Taco, we've done this before. I fucking Have swear to God, this exact bit has played out before. So, I'm going to go back to my spot, held in line, but to the side of the line, not standing in the straight line. You're so independent, standing on the side of the line. <laughs> yeah. oh everybody, my God. everybody acknowledge how independent she is. I'm so sorry. No, I take that. All right, you know what? I take I'm that back. Over to the line. I take that back. Since, I am so going to stand directly in line in my place in line. Where you know do what? you say I am in line? How many people are in front of me? Um, I'm about to roll that. What is the other people doing? Since NPC doesn't want to like do it, since NPC doesn't oh, want to do his over. one goddamn job, the people person I'm going doesn't. Over. The one person doesn't want to talk to the people. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to step up. Isn't that right, NPC? You don't want to talk to these Dude, people. Dude, I said I'm you? going. I'm going. I am going. Where are you going? You're right next to the crowd. You just gotta talk to him. I'm going to go talk to him. You, but well, you're NPC, not NPC, you NPC you gets talking. nothing of what you're putting down, Dongle. NPC, you're not supposed to talk to the dude. You're supposed to talk to the crowd. We are competing against this these cultists. Oh, that Grouchy, makes fix sense. your mic. I'm about to come in there and rip it off. <laughs> Sorry, it's every, every time I bend over. I don't know what the fuck I'd say. To combat, um, tell them that the NPC just think you're you say anything, just get make sure these cultists, the cult of the fire ring, are on the bad end of the stick. I got you. I'm on the uh, I you're, got your backup plan. I got you're your backup plan. You're supposed okay. to be the people well, person. Going, you talk okay, to well, them. No, 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 you just gave me an idea. You just gave me an idea. All right, well. Taco? And before one of those moments where NPCs, all right, all right, I hear what you say, but I'm going to do the other I got thing. it. I got it. Go ahead. <laughs> I got it. All right. Well, I'm going to walk over <laughs> uh, nearby, not like next to him, but somewhat close. Yeah. Uh, I want to be an earshot of everyone that's like in the line or near me, and I'm going to point at the guy and scream out, that guy kidnapped my kid. He's the pedophile. Uh, You're just going to confuse uh, the entire Okay. Um, 
<laughs> NPC. I don't know. Okay, so uh, <laughs> well, me... I love to see how many people are. I give... want to see how many people are in front of me because my plan is going to work out a hell of a lot better. Okay, before I, I before I do the pedophile so and the uh, the line, Tin and Taylor, what are you two doing? And Dongle. I'm just going to sit there and just fucking Be watch ready, in the got background it. as these dumb motherfuckers destroy everything. I'm gonna. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go ahead and. Uh, get ready to start attacking, I guess. And I want to okay. see where this yeah. goes. All right. Can we get a correct map lined up for this? Can go buy some flower? You, oh, well, you want a correct map? Yeah, I mean, at least put some dots there so I know where I am. Yeah, we're there. I, too, would like some dots. I, too, would like some dots. You like dipping dots. Can I get a bag of flour from the nearby store? <laughs> we are doing Dude, something right you? now. You oh my god, we're not doing this again. Again. What what they do their fucking, fucking flour. Act, He's gonna dump the bag you of flour. Dump so, okay. all nothing so, with the last so flour. Ten letters got. said he wanted. Oh, to go He's not to the given store. the opportunity to use the flour. So Ten letters said he wants to go to the store. So I'm gonna let Ten letters leave this and go. I'm to gonna the come store. back real quick with the bag of flour. You take off running. Towards the store. Give me an athletic check. I don't know what your plan athletic is. Athletic check. Yeah, it's my best. Uh, where is it? <laughs> Fucks up. Trip <laughs> falls. Trip slams his into the corner. Is knocked out for three hours. Oh wait, my athletics is shit. Oh well, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's his best start, guys. Oh, go seventeen. That's not bad. Okay, so you will be able to make it there one round into if this goes tits up. There's three people in front of you, Grouchy. NPC, Bad. give me a... You said this guy... Okay, so you pointed at this I'm guy. I'm going to just yell out, this guy's a pedophile! You, tried... you gotta okay. say, this guy's a pedophile. He's got my kids somewhere. He's got my kids. Oh, yeah, oh my <laughs> god, this is not gonna work. This isn't gonna work. It's gonna be awesome, what do you mean? <laughs> Make a... Hmm. The crowd... Make a persuasion check instead of deception. Because I, I would imagine the crowd has no reason to not believe you. <laughs> Twenty-four. Oh, I talk. <laughs> okay, okay. I yeah. am Mr. Persuasion. So yeah, you you point to you. Know, this guy is up. You you'd say it. What do you say? I'm gonna scream. You want me to yell? Yeah, yeah, I gotta go close ahead. my door. I gotta close well, my just, door. Just say the word. Just say it. You ain't gonna scream it. This guy's a pedophile. He has my kid hostage. And okay, so the crowd looks to this guy <coughs> and back to him, and he goes, "He goes, no, 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 no." I that was only a joke. I've never met this man before. Please believe me. So the, he's going to roll persuasion against you. It's not going to. No, he's not able to get up there. Um, now, NPC, you got to slander the rest of his group now. He's their oh, leader, guys... but you got to make everyone else look bad, too. How many guys are around mm. him? He's got four guys around him. Four guys. Yeah, four men men NPC, men men mention the cult as a whole. Hmm. So Alright, well, I'm going to yell out again. Did your cult take my daughter, Lucy, as a sacrifice? What are you guys up to? They look to you... And they go, well, Lucy was not your daughter. You stole her from... What? <laughs> Lucy is you one of our You stole her from devout... me. Are you talking about Lucy, our devout follower? The one that runs in Daggerford? The one you kidnapped. She's not kidnapped. And you guys are kind of going back and forth on this. Uh... She was seven. That's... Okay, that's not the Lucy we're talking she about. She three? Damn. That's not the Lucy we're talking about. Wait, <laughs> Did you just say crowd... she's three, Sam? Yeah. So the <laughs> crowd kind of stops and uh, it just kind of looks at you guys arguing back and forth. And uh, some of them leave the line. The two people in front of you, Grouchy, dip off after the pedophile thing. Oh, so and, I move up. Yeah, you now have one person in front of you. But the mm -hmm. cult guy is kind of talking to NPC at the moment. And he's like, "What? I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Uh... What is your qualm with us? We have not met. You kidnapped my fucking daughter. We've never met you. There's no way for us to do that. What do you mean? You don't remember when you stole her? <coughs> no. You son of a bitch. Oh, now he's admitting he doesn't remember it. Oh, my God. Hey, he goes, True. I guess I'm going to have to go get the guard. You are harassing us. 
You kidnapped somebody. You bitch. Uh, he looks back to one of his cronies. He's like, could you go alert the guard of these rabble rousers in the street? Go, go call the Janie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get it up. And about, it up. about this time, this guy uh, takes off like running. Or the guy to his right, one of his cultists member, kind of takes off up the road towards the guard barracks. And uh, Tin, you arrive back with the flower by then. Can any of us use fire? I'm asking uh, with 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 uh, out of with character. Each other. Yeah. Now you have to give me this forbidden thing called a lighter. You got a lighter on you? No. So if you get me one, probably should have gotten a torch or something. But uh, <laughs> thinking things through, no way. So nobody here can use fire. Nope. Gotcha. Uh, you can use lightning only. Well, that's wait, so wait that's NPC, so... doesn't he have, like, first-level spells? Yeah, Probably. but I don't have yeah. Uh, yeah. anything to make fire with. Oh, okay. Well, I have Thunder Wave, but that's about it. No. Nah. All right, so, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, the cult guy is still looking at you, NPC, and he's like, I have a job to do, and I'm going to ignore you to the guard. Oh, what, here. your job to kidnap more kids? <laughs> I see. You're disrupting us. Obviously, no, you my... took my fucking kid. So he he's, he kind of like drops his eyes. He's like, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. And he turns back. Oh, whatever, I didn't want to talk to a pedophile anyway. He, he turns back looking to the line. Hey, call this guy Joan. So yeah, uh, I get... <laughs> Go on, NPC, we gotta keep convincing him. So talking <laughs> him that he's a pedophile. No, we gotta okay, keep well. him. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta we gotta get rid of we gotta get rid of his. Is there an influence. alley nearby? There's an alley nearby, right? You're gonna... There's that alley right there, yeah. Okay, well can I go behind the alley and use my disguise kit? <laughs> you definitely can. <laughs> okay, cool. Well I'm gonna use my disguise kit to uh just look like a common person. What? Okay, so you're like a commoner, just like a normal dude, de just like average Joe Shelf. You have to no NPC. You have to roll. roll. You have to roll oh. your disguise kit. Or yeah, do okay. a disguise kit roll. Well, it's a it's a fucking performance, but he adds his disguise. He adds his, yeah, he adds his proficiency with disguise. Let's do it if he has any. I have proficiency in disguise. Okay, so you add your proficiency bonus to it, man. Your performance bonus. <clears throat> okay, so it is. Performance mm. plus proficiency. Crit fail, crit fail, crit fail. Plus five, plus two, seven. Is that it? Is it just performance and proficiency? Yeah. Okie dokie. Crit fail. Ah, oh. it's 11. Mm. Come on, so you, uh, you put, throw on like a tunic <laughs> and pull up some potato sack pants, but you leave your jester's hat on and you ma you wipe some makeup on your face so you look like a dirty man with a jester's hat. Uh, <laughs> with a jester's hat. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of noticeable cuz every time you walk you jingle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The cult man talks to the person in front of you, Grouchy, and Bet. says, "Sorry for the delay." You everybody can hear it. You're close enough to him. Um sorry for the delay. Obviously, uh there's going to be some unsavory characters here. Uh we will speak more to this. Would you like to be branded? Joining our cult would keep you safe and keep you alive. And you also be part of something bigger and greater than this town. So the person agrees and uh, he pulls up her sleeve and he puts this piece of metal on her wrist. And you see As it. that's happening, sure. as he's starting to brand, you can finish the dialogue. I just want you to know, as he's performing the branding sure. action right before it touches her skin, okay. I want to attack. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. Okay. Didn't think that was... So, you will get a... So, my... Here, here's what I'm going to ask. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you get signal up. anybody else? Sig before like, you anybody do from that. Anybody yes. from our group? Yeah. Anybody from our group? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so... I'm, is Dongle and Taylor in in ten? They're in within. My... They're within. Yeah. Okay. I Going want to turn around to my guys and give them that like creepy old man thumbs up with a like a wink. I'm going to keep in my disguise kit and poorly. not go into combat. Okay. All right. So she how we're going to do her. this? How we're going to do this is I want you to roll 
a slide of hand check for your thumbs up, and we'll see mm -hmm. if the cultists notice. Oh, cool. I got a plus four on that, too. Ooh, I needed it. I got a nine. <laughs> well, they, got a, they got a three. He doesn't oh, right. know. So, he doesn't. so you turn around and just do the old man creepy hands up to give everybody like the heads up you're about to attack. With so, a wink. With a wink. Okay. With a wink, so that means you guys will get one surprise round. Okay, can I, can I do something? Yep. Who's who's who can strike lightning? Me. That's okay, what I'm about so, to do. And yeah, my so, range is thirty feet. And yeah. All so four of before you do that, uh, I want to walk forward, get my bag of flour ready. Oh, bet. I want to before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can chuck the bag of flour, or like uh -huh. rip or rip a hole into it, and then try to like swing it across to the fucking cultist. And I want to see if how like how much I can disperse the flower. Okay, so uh, let's put ourselves on the spots in the map that we think we'd be. Also, these are old character tokens, so make sure you update their health oh. and armor class and everything. Are we on the same page? We're on the same page, right? Yep. Yeah. How do okay. I? Tim's Double going flip. to cause a big explosion and kill everyone in there. So you hey. are funny as shit. So based. I want you to know that there are, like, civilians in there, Tim Letters. Yeah, don't worry. They'll be fine. Yeah, okay. So, Dongle totally and Taylor, put yourself wherever you guys were. Well, no. Over here? Fuck that. Yeah, hey, like, Taco. Fucking not you're, good. Uh, you're, you're, a, you're a fighter, you know, Taylor. Yeah, whatever. Well, you set this up, Taco. Taylor, you're a fighter. Uh, you gotta fight them. The green, the green is what again? That's a person. Yeah, but I would have witnessed this happen. Uh, uh, which path. direction did the guards or the guards be coming from? Uh, to you, you remember the guard barracks is to the east. No, like where did that dude run off to? To the to east. go get the guards. Where to the it? east. All right, then I'm gonna run down like yelling there that the uh, red hooded people are attacking people in the streets. Okay. And to call for the guards. So you're going to run toward the guard too. All right. Yeah, Give I'm gonna me... run, but like screaming. All right, we'll Just get that to you. that the we'll red hooded to... are attacking people. We'll get to you in one second. So we're gonna start with them. Actually, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to do like a little bit of... We'll do a rewind on time. So NPC takes off running uh, when you guys like immediately start or start your plan. Like he sees the old man creepy, thumbs up, uh, wink, and everybody's in position. And NPC takes off to the east towards the guard barracks. And give me an athletics roll. Let's see if... Let's see if... Uh, you book in it. Do you want me to give you like a performance too? Because I want to be screaming that the red ropes are attacking people. You're going to give me a persuasion in a minute. Oh, gang shit. A trip. That's that. One. Crit fail. All Archie. right. So, Stumbo, you take off as you see everybody start their plan. You take off running and immediately trip up and start rolling like a Looney Tune into a... <laughs> uh, you roll into a, a, a shop. And like, are like not into the shop. You roll into the stand, and a bunch of bananas fall over you. And you're like, you got the whole spinny eye thing going on. <laughs> and so, you will now, unfortunately, be stuck during this surprise round. And one turn of combat will go by, and then you can move. So you're gonna roll initiative two when I say. Uh, okay. But you can still intercept the guards as they're coming up and all that. Okay, that's all I want to do. I don't really care yeah. for the combat. No, I know you can't care for the combat, but because you rolled a crit fail, you're going to eat shit and allow the ah! combat to start before you get off. Um, so, ten letters. Jumping yeah. back to you. You want to throw the bag of flour in front of you and cut a hole in it, like try dispersing it. So cutting yeah. a hole, cutting a hole. I would imagine, like if you your character knows what he's about to do, you would have the bag of flour up. You'd already cut the hole, and then you'd flip it upside down. Like, as you're sp uh, going to throw it, you grab it by the opposite end where you cut the hole and just, like, fling it so it throws it all in front of you. Yeah. So give me a sleight of hand roll. Sleight of hand. Does that determine the range? That determines the range, and if you hold on to this bag of flour or it goes flying. I think if it goes flying, it would, be, uh, it would cover more ground. Yes and no. Depends how big the hole is. It's like, there, there's a couple other factors we're going to do a roll, because that's going to be the easiest way to do it. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll 
cut a big big enough hole uh -huh. to wh where if I if I chuck it, it it'll go flying and like covers like a what what is it called like a carpet bomb of like flower. No, I, I know exactly what you're getting at. Just if uh we manage to get you another crit fell or really really low roll, slide of hand. Yep. Oh, that's eighteen. All right. Eighteen. So Get with that. the eight, with the eighteen, you you knew exactly what you were going to do. You cut the hole in the top, grab it by the end, and you just carpet it completely in front of you. And it's going to like it's a how how uh, many pounds was a flower was that? Well, how much is a gold's worth of? It, it, I just Tell me what you want. A, Tell me what a, you want. A big what flower. Really want? How, how big many pounds? bag? A big bag of flour. Oh, you motherfucker! Five pounds of flour. How about that? Sure. Five pounds of flour. I'll say it covers everybody completely in front of you, including the person that was about to be branded. And like it's all like like dust like in the air, right? Yes, they're okay. they're covered in it now. The only person not only cultist not covered in flour is this guy down here. Okay, so I uh, tell tell uh, amp. Well, you don't have to tell. Oh, okay. What do you tell amp? I thought you were about to say lightning amp. bolt. Now, oh, okay, that's not amp. No, oh, Rowan. Fuck. Rowan. Oh, Rowan. Fucking keep... You don't have to tell Rowan. Rowan, Rowan was already charging it. Not simultaneously, we're doing this at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Roll your damage. Oh, I gotta roll the two d six. Yep, because it just happens. And it, straight line, it pierces, goes through everybody, doesn't it? Straight line up to thirty feet, and all four of them will be affected. All four of them. So all four of them will be caught in it. It doesn't stop at the first person it hits. No, it goes through. Goes up to thirty feet in range. Yeah, it's all of them talking. It okay, I'm just them. making sure, making sure. There's like weird semantics sometimes with the Yeah, there's weird differences between the Dragonborns, but the thing is, I, you just fucking ignore all the Dragonborn shit and only go for the new ones because the new ones are only ones worth a fuck. There you go. All right, so. Oh, that was max damage. Or. Uh, one of them was max damage, so. Alright, they all make a DC dexterity save of 11, and otherwise they are hit, or, or they took full damage. I think they take half damage if they save. By directly from the lightning? So they all failed, so they're going to all take 11 damage. Uh, that's directly from the lightning, right? Directly from the lightning. Now... Does the lightning ignite the flower? Now, that's the fun thing. If I remember correctly, flour is flammable, right? Yeah, and uh, flour isn't just flammable. In large quantities, it explodes. See, that's what I was saying. I thought, I thought flour like, uh, catches when it's compacted, not when it's dust. No. You ever heard of a dust explosion? Yes, when I've heard in, of a dust explosion before. When it's in the air like that, it can catch, it can catch fire and explode too. Okay, just want to make sure we're getting to this. So here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to give you a... How, how do I want to do this? Let's see. We'll give a, a luck roll at advantage. Just a d20. D20 luck roll? Yeah. Well, you want a d100? And then we... Uh, fuck it. Do a d20 at advantage. We'll see if it ignites or, and how well it ignites and, like, explodes. And then we'll decide damage after that. No modifier? Just d20. No, just d20. Flat d20. We're doing a luck roll. At advantage. Oh. Oh. That's a crit. <laughs> Alright, so you rolled a 12 and then a crit. A fucking 20. That's why you always do it at advantage. So yeah, it ignites. And I'm going to give it 3d6s. Yeah, 3d6 seems fair. Also, they still have to take 11 damage apiece. Um, also, also, uh, Grouchy. Yep. Um, you said it affects all four people. Uh, five, sorry. Oh, okay. I was making sure you realized there was a fifth person in front of you. Yeah, yeah. It, okay. Yeah. So, uh, unfortunately, that uh, that kills that lady. Yeah, that's what I intended. <laughs> and uh, now now I'm doing the math on health. Uh, <sighs> all the cults, or cultists, the regular cultists behind Mr. Front Guy, um, they all have uh, not much health. So... Let's do uh, MP or ten. Go ahead and roll that three D six. Uh, 
I hate you for doing that. And I, <laughs> Why did you do that? He rolled each three d six. Fucking singular. Okay, so that is six. three da- or six damage plus the eleven, so that's seventeen damage in total. So the back three cult guys that get hit by that uh, lightning and the explosion automatically die. All three of them. Oh my god. Bye bye. Ten letters. Why'd you oh. do it? Good oh, job, what the fuck it? This lady, the the villager that was like getting branded, she's dead uh, already. So 17 damage. And then this guy right here at the bottom, below him, he had one more cultist right beside him. He takes the six damage. That does not kill him, but he is he get, he gets lit ablaze. It hurts really bad, but he's still alive, barely. Amp and Andy, do you guys have anything you were going to do with your surprise round? Well, I mean, uh, no, it's already been pretty sufficient. How many attacks do we get? One. You get one action one. apiece. Uh, I'll lob my weakened bolt at the uh, cult leader. Okay, that's fine with me too. Go ahead and do next the ability. Thing. Next ability check he makes, he has to subtract three from it. All right, that so that's all that does. Yeah, it just lowers the next check they make, gotcha, whatever okay. check it is. Okay, I was misunderstanding. I thought it did damage as well. Nope. Everybody, let's roll initiative now. All right. You said and, initiative was dexterity. And, Andy, what is your uh, yeah? It says initiative. It says initiative in the no, middle of the says... screen by your. Yeah, my my initiative uh, is a thirteen. Okay, thirteen. Uh, Mine's 10 letters. a 19. 10 letters, what's uh, yours? Uh, 4. Because it's 1 plus 3. Alright, what are you, Grouchy? 19. And then Dongle. Do you get punished 18. for a crit fail on an initiative? No, you don't. Two. 18. Okay. You should go yeah. last. And NPC, what's seven. your initiative? Okay, 7. Starts out, believe it or not, the person who initiated the fight uh, starts out with Rowan. You Yeet. guys are now engaged in combat. Uh, the man in front of you has taken a large amount of damage. You lit him on fire. He exploded. The guy to his left, uh, Coltis as well in a red cloak, um, is completely, like, he is, he's barely hanging on. So. Um, I would like to use my melee weapon, uh, which is a heavy two-handed. Uh. Hey, aim for his leg. We need him alive for something. Kill everyone else. So, um... Move up five feet. Okay, then I want to use my great Remember axe. the guards are still coming. So the guards use... are coming. We need this guy alive. I'm going to use my great axe, and I'm going to go strictly for both his knees. Okay, Hopefully so... Hopefully severing both his Please don't legs So, off. here's what don't you're going to do. You'll move up five feet, and I'm going to have you make an attack roll at disadvantage. And you also, you want to, so you're trying to not kill him, right? Not kill him. Okay, Mangle so him, this, but not kill him. So this to where he can't run away. Non-lethal damage. Non-lethal damage. Well, you rolled a one on at disadvantage. Dead. So uh, you go to swing at this guy's leg. You you start spinning and just fucking start spinning like out of control, trying to swing for his legs. Like he like bends back on his tippy toes um, to pull his knees out of the way. And as you spin out of control, uh, ten letters. Give me a dexterity saving throw. So I rolled 11. So as Grouchy starts spinning in a circle because she completely whiffs her attack, uh, she actually catches like catches the side of you. I knew you were going to that. Yep. Um, and as she spins like five feet backwards, just big old Looney Tune cartoon spins backwards, and she catches you for a D4 of damage because she just grazes you. You take two damage, 10. Wow. She does not I affect can. your turn. But now she is. Her turn's over. Well, Throwing it now idiot. to Amp. Amp, it is your turn. Uh. Uh. I think I'm gonna head off. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> You're gonna walk away? Again? Yeah. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna take a dash so I can head towards the guards. You can go, take, go follow uh, your boyfriend. Double your movement speed towards the uh, east. Okay. So about here. Yep. Alright, so, now, is that all you're doing? Yeah, you did all that, yeah. so. It is now Damn, Colt. Gosh, got a stick over, but... It's Colt Leader Guy. So, Colt Leader Guy, have, after taking, like, a ton of damage from you, immediately goes, Alright, for Lord Noss! And he casts Inflict Wounds. Of 
he runs up to Hugh Grouchy and casts Inflict Wounds. Does a plus one hit. Or, I mean, not a plus one, a 16 hit. Your AC. So I need a minus 16 for my health. No, no, no. Does a 16 hit your AC? Oh, does a 6. Oh, uh, my AC is 16. Okay, so it meets, so it does hit. Um, you now take 3d10 necrotic damage. Do I roll that? I you roll it. it. I rolled the yeah. absolute worst I could. You take 6 damage. So, Colt guy immediately runs up. He touches his hand and pulls out this black and green mist and touches it to your chest. And he says, you were never an industry, baby. Okay. Obviously, you don't get it. So, that's the end I of the story. Because my right. reply was going to be Mufasa, Mufasa, Mufasa. Uh, now it's the other cultist's turn before it gets to Andy because they're all in the same. Uh, mm -hmm. You guys only have those. So, he's going to run up to ten letters. And he's going to run up to Andy. And they're going to make attacks. Ten letters. Andy. Mm, uh, to hit me with so uh, does a 12 hit you, Taylor, no, and does a 11 no, hit no. you, Taylor? Absolutely not for me. How about you, Tim? Uh, I have armor class 14. Okay, so no. So they swing with their scimitars and immediately just whiff. Well, uh, actually, with Andy, with your pot, the scimitar hits, but it, it just bounces just, off. It just kink and like shakes his hand and he's like, ah! I'm just gonna say, don't leave me with your dollar store scimitar. So that is uh, the end of the enemy piece or the enemy's turn. Andy, it is now your turn. Okay. So I'm just, you see this cult man in front of me here. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking hit him in the mouth using both hands of my battle axe. This fucking yeah. Do I yeah? So I'm gonna do that, and it's gonna be plus my strength because it's a martial weapon. There, so use the stone. It's like tacos, the twenty-two land. Yeah, tw well, you you crit. So now, yeah, a twenty-two definitely lands. <laughs> the, these dice are back and forth again, but uh, you roll now damage. You roll your damage yeah. twice, so twenty, so 20 damage in total. So you split this man oh, directly, immediately split this guy directly in half, and he just falls to the ground into two pieces. And you can move, what? you can use the rest of your turn to move up to another one or stay where you're at. Okay. Well, I'm just going to use this, and I'm just going to move right here, and I'm just going to say, you're next, pal. <laughs> So, it is now NPC's turn, which I assume you're dashing. Yep. Alright, so I'm going Door to assume... You, you'll be off the map with your dash action. Uh, I'm yep. going to assume that you'll in your last 30 feet, probably a little more than that, we'll go ahead and have you run into the guards with the cult fanatic coming up. The, you see the cult guy leading the guards, uh, saying, This way! This way! They're, they're harassing us! And being mean! You stop them and... The guard's like, what, what, what? Move out of the way. A business. A cult started attacking people. The, what? They started attacking people. Who? Some lady bursted into the flames and then they started attacking people. Who? The cult. What cult? The red hooded people. And so the guard now looks to the red hooded person that he's following. He goes, wait, them? Yes, them. And uh, he goes, uh. He goes, I swear, I swear, they were the one accosting us. And he's going to make a roll against yours. It's the same fucking Dude, roll. So, I'm so, but, so he, does he, he know? Does he know I'm me? So he doesn't know who the fuck you are. You're just some guy with a jester hat on. Remember, you're, this guy's kind of poor. So both of you got a 16. So he, I'd imagine like you would stop and go, it's them. And he's like, no, it's them. And then he goes, no, it's them. No, it's them. <laughs> So here's what here's how I'm going to do this. Uh, the guard's like, "What is there fighting going on?" Some old lady burst into the flames, and the cult started stabbing. So people. they push oh, right past both that's of that's you. That's he that's he that's actually that's he says to both of you, "He's like, get the fuck out of my way, both of you." And he's like, I, "So he the guard now is not following either of you, and uh, the rest of the guard follow behind him." Fuck. The cult guy stops and looks at you. He's like, "What the fuck is your problem?" What's your problem? You're the one that started this. <laughs> you were accosting us. And now a you're pedophile. saying we're attacking? I'm not a pedophile. I have a loving wife. 
She's seven oh, years older than me. She's seven. <laughs> She's seven. Yes. <laughs> How am I the yeah, pedophile? She was seven. perfectly for this situation. Says yes, and then says I'm not a pedophile. What was meant by this? You're so I, I, shut the fuck. Well, I know the rest of you aren't saying this, but he's he's saying it. Just uh, I'm the cultist guy goes. We'll have your our fucking way with you later. And he takes off running back towards the crowd. Just like he's with children. Hey, hey, he's threatening rape. Thing, Damn! What the fuck is up I with these guys? Hey, all of you so much. Talk, talk, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> as he's running off. As he's running off. Is there anybody that's nearby that could witness like me hitting him or attacking him? Uh, uh, yes, you're in a public street, fuck. and there's a lot of commotion going on right <laughs> now. Cultist man uh, takes off back towards the crowd. Uh, NPC, uh, you said you want to know if you could attack him. No, I'm not gonna. If if people can see me, I'm not gonna. Okay, just making sure. So he it runs back, and the guards now come up. We're gonna have one more round of combat, and the guards will show up. But you guys don't know the guards are showing yet, okay? Except for <laughs> Amp. Amp would be able to Amp Amp will be able to see the guards and be in earshot. But NPC, you're out of earshot. Yeah. So it is now Ten Letters' turn. So, just to make sure, who's the Moyai guy? That is the cult leader. So we we're not killing him. We need to. No, we just we just need him to make sure he don't run away. You don't need the cult guy. Okay, we so can... we're okay. So we just crack his legs or something. Uh. Or you can just. You still have a cultist him. in front of you as well. You can just grapple him. That's what I was going to do, but oh, the other see. cultist moved to block me. So I was like, "Fuck it, you're just gonna get cut in half, dude." I know, so they'll just deal. Go to okay. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot this guy with uh, with my bow then, right in front of me. Gotcha. That's an eleven hit. Yeah. Okay. You did not hit. Okay. So I, I run. Yeah. Uh, you you disengage 30. backwards. This is the final round of combat before the guards will uh, be upon you guys. So Grouchy, it is now your turn. Okay. I want to damage the main cult guy furthermore, no, but not kill him. No. 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 Yeah. What I want you to do, I want you to fucking drop the uh, remaining cult bitch, the, the cult guy's bitch here in the middle. I want you to fucking drop him so I can circle around to the cult guy and uh, put him in a fucking chokehold. Okay, well, since he has so nicely and he decides he wants to participate now, we will do that. What do you I mean? Want... I literally just cleaved some asshole in half so I could get to this fucking guy. I was cleaning my own when you did that, so I really wasn't paying attention. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, so I want to use my... Uh, I want to use my melee weapon. <laughs> I want to use my melee weapon against the, the second cult guy that's bloody. Okay, sure. Go ahead. Yeet. 22 hits. All right, so 11 damage. Yeah, so you swing your ball over to the... Uh, or great axe. Are you no, using... it's the ball. Okay. You swing your maul over to Which this guy and just crack him on the head. Cra like, crack his head, and the, it, it compresses. His head compresses, or, like, completely caves in, and he just topples down into a little body, and he is dead. Yeah. And that is... Unless you got anything else on your turn, you could do... Mm. Technically, you have fighter or action surge as a fighter, so you can do one more action. I want to actually make him work tonight, so I want to try to grapple him since okay. I'm standing right in front of him. Strength. So I, 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 strength. I'm gonna take him down with my legs, by the way. You're gonna fucking wrap your like, thighs I'm, around. Yep, his I'm jumping neck. up, wrapping my thighs around his neck, and bringing him down to the fucking off, ground. Bitch. Katana, bitch. So you Ray Mysterio grab him with your legs and swing him to the ground. Uh, yeah, that that drussy. You the swing him down. <laughs> uh, swing him directly into the ground. And he is now grappled. Uh, he I has think, zero honestly, speed. honestly, if I were him right now, I don't think I'd resist. <laughs> True. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, you know, just saying that. Okay. Uh, yeah. So he is now. <laughs> he's restrained. Yeah, technically, <laughs> technically, we could call this combat. <laughs> uh, he's restrained. And I think he gets one more roll at that before Andy gets there. So. Uh, yeah, okay, we're still in combat, so now it's going to be Amp's turn. Alright, well, I'm gonna go, like, run to the guards and talk to them. Alright, so the uh, guards are now in eyeshot of you, 
and you're in earshot of everybody else. Uh, so you run up to the guards and, uh, I mean, go ahead. Yeah, those fucking red cult firing assholes just tried to fucking kill someone. They stuck the brand to them and they fucking exploded into a ball of fire and lightning. So give me your persuasion roll. I roll these at advantage. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's a one on a bow. It's an 18 right. plus 2, so I got a 20. All right. So Unnatural. Unnatural. So the guard stops, and you say, uh, you run up and tell him that somebody exploded. He, he looks back to the red guy, He's and he looks to you, and he goes, Arrest that man now! And everybody else, to the, everybody else to the scene! We need to secure this now! And the rest of them start running. Uh, they tackle cultist guy that was following behind them. And uh, the guards are now running into this... Or will be in the scene after this round of combat. And Amp, you are now with the guards as well. After these sponsored messages. So, cultist fanatic guy. Uh, he has one... He has zero movement speed at the moment. However, he has one action he can do. And he will do that. He is going to come at, or cast command on you, Grouchy. Uh... Is he hypnosis? I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Grouchy. Rolling. Damn! Fuck with me. Okay, so you got an 18. Fuck, I don't think this guy's going to be able to do that. His yeah, spell... I'm going to clench my legs tighter, just barely to where he can't breathe, but where he can still breathe. So he starts... He, He's he try... living the dream! So he, po uh, he points at you, he points at you, and he says, let go! And you feel this magical energy, like, just pink off your head. But it doesn't seep into it. It almost feels like you get hit with, like, a fly. And it, like, it, you know, when a bug, like, bumps into your head and you feel it, you're like, ah! Mm -hmm. But it doesn't do anything. And you say you start clinching, and uh, um, <laughs> he can't you can't do it because I'm his sister. <laughs> what? What? I feel the awkwardness in your voice. No, it's uh, I was just thinking of. How Hollywood. Give be. Give me a perception roll. Oh me. Yep. <laughs> you can feel his fucking heart on. That's why I was. That's literally. That's what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if this guy popped Let's the boner. Go, uh, you, uh, he might have popped the boner. He might he not. Got have. Little, he got a little chub. A little chub. You, you don't know. He he might just have a big dick. So, all right, Andy, is your turn. All right. So I'm going to assist with the grapple and make sure I hold. <laughs> well, I bet you are. Down. I bet you are going to assist. How would you assist? Can you describe? How would I assist? Please? I'm going to grab him. You have your thighs around his head. I'm going to fucking sit there and just manifest my hands and just grab both his fucking legs. All right. Um, Almost yeah. like a fucking hog tie kind of. Go position. ahead, give me that strength roll here. at advantage. Okay, hell. I don't. I don't think he's going to beat you on this. But he is not going to. That's sir. Yeah, so that would be an 18. Actually, is it? No, it's just normal strength throw, so that's going to be an 18 that he has to okay. beat. Yeah, he'll have to beat an 18 and whatever Grouchy rolls the next time. Uh, and he'll be doing it all at disadvantage because he's held by two people. So yeah, He's got fucking a hog tied. He is fucked. All right, NPC, <laughs> you're running with the guard, so you'll arrive when the guards arrive. Didn't you have? Don't you have rope? Oh, you don't. You just tie his leg. I do have rope, but I don't need to use my rope. I can so, just hold this fucker down. Ten ah. letters. I assume you're not going to do anything, right? I mean, probably not much else to do, right? I'm yeah. going to hang. Run away. Like you don't have to be like caught up in this. I'm going to say that combat has basically ended. This guy is completely grappled. The guards are now coming up on the scene and the head uh, guard. You guys actually haven't met this guy. Um, the person you keep running into at the, the barracks is a different gentleman with blonde hair, short cut. This is a very um, grizzled looking older man with a handlebar mustache and no hair on top of his head and very, very thick ass eyebrows. He runs up and he's like, he's like where where are the calls at? Where is he? And he sees him in between your thighs, and you're holding him. And he's like, "Guards, help them! Assist him capturing that man now!" And guards surround him and put him to the ground. Um, and the captain's like, 
He's like, he looks to the other bodies on the ground. He's like, oh my god, it's oh, there's so many people. So one of many people. Fucking cleaned them out. Holy shit. What? He's one of them's like, oh fuck, they cleaned one of them in half. The guard's just like, I, this is this is terrible. I good good job on capturing him. You you das you bastards. You first you come to our town and you start attacking us at random. Holy uh, hells. The the culted uh, fanatic like yells up he's like, I don't know who you work for, all of you, but I can how is shoot he speaking? Are you uh, oh wait, he's got the drissy in his mouth, doesn't he? Yeah, I was like, how does he No, oh uh, no no he, the guards have Taking him out from your grapple. Now the guards are tying him up. I wouldn't be using my mouth to speak in this anyway, but okay. So he uh, yells to you. He's like, I don't know who you all work for. They attacked us. They are the perpetrators here. You are making a mistake. The guard kind of like shoves him off. He's like, huh, like I believe you. I've done heard the story from your buddy back there. So the guard turns to you guys and he's like, uh, did you? He killed all these people, didn't he? Did yeah. And is there anybody survived? No. Oh. Well, good, good job. I, I'm, I'm captain of the guard, Armstrong. Captain Armstrong. Good to meet you, okay. Captain Armstrong. My name is Andy. It's nice to meet you, Andy. I've, I'm disappointed. I can't believe this happened. Um, well, if you guys want, we, we'll take him back to the barracks and uh. Begin the process of uh, figuring out his punishment. If you guys uh, want to uh, here, here, and he takes out like ten gold. And he's like, "I'm sorry, you had to uh, get involved, but I appreciate it. I appreciate it, really do." So we're gonna start. We're gonna start uh, cleaning these bodies up. Yes, before they cart these guys away, right? Do we want anything to do with this cult guy? Or are we just we should probably ask, it, ask him questions. Yeah, well, I'll let one of the charisma men or one of the people that actually have wisdom do it then. NPC, what do you want to do? <laughs> huh? Oh my fucking god. So the guard walks right past NPC. Alright, well, no I'm going to talk. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna talk <laughs> to him. <laughs> so yeah, you stop uh, Armstrong... <laughs> And because you were further back, and uh, all right, I'm a part of a group who's been investigating this cult. We've been through Dust Branch, and we've been through a couple other minor villages touched by these people, and uh, we haven't seen any good come out of them yet. So the Armstrong looks at you and he goes, "So, wait, the, they're part of a? I knew they're part of a cult, but okay, so you you guys have dealt with them before then." Yeah, we're a part of an organization, a group, if you will, who has been hired, for better or worse, to attempt to stop the cult of the firing from spreading their influence. Part of it is because of what happened here today, where they killed civilians. The other part of it is is that supposedly, now this is just a rumor, so you can't take it seriously yet, but these firings are a gateway to another world filled with beings unimaginable and dangerous who are attempting to kill everyone to take this planet for their own. So Armstrong stops and like his eyes get wide and he looks back and he's like, "Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, I've, you know what? I've here, you, you got, you take the time you need to question him. We'll, we'll haul him off as soon as you're done with him. Thank you. It's probably going to be executed for all these murders that he committed. Yeah, one more cultist off the streets. Yeah, so... Uh, so you're now... Uh, so Armstrong walks over to the other uh, guards and starts talking to them. You have uh, a guard kind of like sitting on either side of him just in case he tries running. Okay. Uh, so, how far did you think you were going to get during all this evil show? So the cultist looks up at you and he's like, I... Don't know what you mean. Hard you enough, maybe. attacked us. It's fair to assume that you actually don't know what's going on since you were a lower member in the rungs. The people in the higher ups for your group are terrible. No good people. 
We've already had to go through two necromancers who thought they were twins. They were actually deranged. They tried to take over Dust Branch Village with a fucking army of skeletons that rose out of a graveyard not too far from the village. Very nasty stuff. They were ranting and raving about how we're going to cleanse the world in the Great White Ash. They were very weird. Fortunately, they're gone. But you people need to watch your head, because you're as expendable as those fucking graveyard motherfuckers were. Uh, give me a deception roll, then. Okay. They can, I mean, they're, they, they are looking directly at me, right? Yeah. Alright, cool, so I do it with advantage. I make all charisma rolls with advantage, so long as the people are looking at me. Wow. Okay, so it's a fucking, uh... Hold on. It's a 16? You said deception, right? Yeah. It is a 16. Alright, so, with, yeah, with 16, he go. he looks to you and he goes, I thought, I, wait a second, I heard about that. You... <sighs> Listen, buddy, I understand it's a lot to take in. It's very, it's very, very difficult to get around in these trying times. I'll, I'll, I'll help you get off the hook here. Oh. I'll, I'll, t I'll tell them that this was an indoctrination and that you didn't know what was going on. But please don't associate with these people. It's not, da they're dangerous. They're, oh, I'm sorry. You must have misunderstood me. Uh, obviously, what you said right there is bullshit. However, you already know about us. So there's no play sense in playing coy. You called us out. You tried lying to me there. I get it. But it seems like I've already lost here and I'm about to be executed. So there's no reason to play coy. Who are you with? At least let me know that. Well, I can't tell you our employer's name. Our employers are confidential. We don't even know his name. We've been through so many shell contacts. We had to talk to a fucking cave gnome twice just to talk to our employer through another proxy who is an elf hunt master off in the forest where we nearly got killed by a bear we don't even know his name so uh he looks to you kind of puzzled and he's like an organization that nobody knows the actual name of the hmm. we know what we're working for some of us get paid some of us get favors some of us are indebted to this man. He does favors for people. Miraculous favors. For us, he gave us a second chance at life, me and my group. Now, we can't just get out that easily. And unfortunately, you people are the ire this time. Okay. Fair. Fair. I could see that we would eventually be... The limelight would be put on us. I guess that makes sense. But it's already too late. I mean, what are you guys really going to do? You don't know anything about it. I could tell by your demeanor. You are following orders, but you have no information. That's fine. I like a little show. That's fine. Okay. But thank you. Thanks for at least giving me a chance to relay this to my leader. And as he says that, his wrist starts glowing... And his entire body just erupts in fire. And he burns to ash. And you can see off to your peripheral, the other cultist has erupted in fire as well. And burns completely to ash to the ground. And Armstrong's like, what, what, the, what the fuck? What? And the guards guards are like, they pull out the swords and shit. Uh, turn back to the body. Armstrong runs up to you. He's like, what the fuck happened? The guards vouch for you and say that he, he didn't do shit. But he's like, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, no, these cultists were too, too very far gone. He was talking about how his, uh, leader was very adamant about this town and how he wanted to take it over. And he was not, he was none too pleased about what we've done here today. I can confidently say that. Oh no, oh no, we're already shorthanded. Are you dealing with these goblins, dealing with the griffin? Uh, I'm... Wait, never mind the Griffin. The Griffin was handled, kind of, I think. Uh, that's, anyways, anyways, okay. We're going to beef up our guard in town. Uh, again, thank you for today. I We have a lot to do. Uh, uh, he's very... If you hear, yeah, go ahead. 
if you hear any more uh, activity relating to the cult of the fire ring or other cults around any cult at all if they look suspicious our organization needs to know you can talk to anyone in my group except the clown don't talk to the clown he'll right. he'll get on your he'll get on your nerves faster than anyone in this world could he looks around and he doesn't see the clown but he sees the villager with a jester hat and again it's still a very bad disguise so he's uh, he kind of like it's like duly noted um i we're going to go prepare we're, in fact all f- cult of the fire ring memorabilia people part of it that's all banned for now that's all banned we're not that's no longer allowed in town good so uh he he's like i i have, i must be off and all the guards take off uh running there so you guys are now in the town square uh and here is what we're going to do because you guys lied to the guards the guards separate everybody and pushed them back uh you now have a group of people that did see you guys attack first yeah Okay, just make sure everybody knows this, but that's fine. Uh, so, are you going to speak to the crowd at all? Because the crowd is still gathered around you, kind of looking like back and forth. Two burned pile of ashes with robes on the ground. Uh, one of the crowd member kind of like speaks, like stares at you and goes, "You, you guys killed them." Well, we killed them with just action. We were recognized by or- as our organization, and they threatened us telepathically. They told us if we didn't leave, there was going to be severe repercussions. And we can't just stand by and let a cult that we know is dangerous try to take one over, you guys. Uh, some some guy in the background, like five rows back of people, like pops up like in one of those cartoons where somehow they get taller than the rest of the crowd to ask the question they go he goes but how do you know they were threatening you what did he uh, fucking say how do they know you were threatening you how do how do you guys know they were threatening us yes. well unfortunately we can't actually provide you with evidence that they were threatening us as it was telepathic unfortunately Tele- telepathy is very difficult to pick up on unless you're a high-ranking official with magical insight. We, as a group, have been trained to pick up on this kind of thing. Unfortunately, you probably have not. Whether or not you're magically inclined, it's difficult if it's concentrated, which it was. Give me a persuasion con- roll at advantage. Hell, here it comes. Okay. Oh. 20. Fucking crit. Roll 20 is so jacked right now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So you say all that, and uh, one of the, like, the, an old lady sitting in front goes, Yeah, yeah, I think I heard it too, because I'm magical as well. Yeah, these fellas saved us right here. They saved us from that. And she points up to the big ring. And she's that old cocky there, like, Crazy Susie. You think so? Yeah, yeah, I believed him. We should all believe him. Everybody starts, to, yeah, yeah. Well, that makes sense. If Crazy Susie says so. Now listen, folks. I understand that this was... It might have been a bit difficult to watch. I They they were very close to getting... They were very close to getting some... They were very close to getting some of you to believe them. But I need you to understand something. Anyone that worships that big fire ring up there is more dangerous than something you'll ever know. Those goblins outside the village who've probably trashed some of your guys' caravans are nothing compared to these guys. They want more than just your soul. They want every ounce of blood related to you. So everybody starts, like, mummering in shock, and uh, that guy in the very back just still chimes up, and he goes, Were they the ones that killed the lady they were branding? Or had in front of them? Yes, yes, they did. The brand they mark you with has a chance of corroding you to the point of de- to of soulful degradance. Her soul was whisked away to the astral plane, where their deity resides currently, waiting to be resurrected by these rings. The if he gets out, this world is all over. The reason they're believing all this is that crit you rolled, and uh, he goes, "Yeah, I guess that makes sense." Everybody starts going like agreeing and. Right. And someone like you hear someone kind of rattle off. It's like, well, you better go tell Mark that she he lost his wife today. But oh well, 
and the crowd kind of disperses back to what they're doing. Um, so that is a uh, and now solved. Where what is your guys' plan? I think it's best if we go to. Uh... We still have to fucking get rid of this fire ring. I think it's best if we head towards that castle. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whatever you said. Yeah, we should be fine for now. We could get the Griffin. Only one person can ride the Griffin. But you know who that's gonna be. So if Dongle. you want, Dongle, uh, I'll allow you to make another training of animal handling check. And you guys can somehow fashion for other people. I don't know if he carries like a little carriage with people uh. in it. I mean, if one of you wants to help me try to tame this griffin so that he can become a mount, sure. So as you guys are heading down through the streets of the town, people, like, you see them kind of went back to their days or so, and the arm wrestling people are still sitting there, and you go, well, that was a show, arm wrestling, arm wrestling! And as you guys pass them, um, you see another cloaked figure kind of, like, walking along in the middle of the road, heading your way. And uh, she stops as she sees you guys, and she pulls her hood down. She's like, well, hello, friends. And it's Lisbeth from last time. Uh, how, how goes it? Yeah, how goes it? Well, uh, Fucking yeah, it's going, man. Your, uh, your goblins, they've been dealt with. I expected there would be. They weren't that, they weren't that big of a threat. Wait, but, yeah, I, wait, huh? I'm not exactly worried about the goblins. That was a side venture from one of the uh, one of my compatriots here. I couldn't exactly stop him from doing it. Oh, uh, wait. You guys were okay with giving Raz's wife to them, though. We were told by our employer that we kind of had to. I'm very. I once again, I'm very sorry that someone had to go. I truly am. I like deep down in my heart, I'm sorry. But give me, give me a deception roll. We would have been fucked over otherwise. She is directly looking at you too. Uh, 21, unnaturally. So she looks at you and she goes, Huh. Uh, wait. She looks to the moth and she's like, Oh yeah, you were, you were the one that told her, told her that we needed her to go to the goblins. You're kind of, I mean, she looks back to you, Amp, and she goes, hey, Your friend's a sick freak. But all well that ends well. I got my revenge. Um. I, I I trust we we have no more business with each other, you know. Yeah. I got my happiness because those goblins have wronged me in the past. They uh, they took my family from me. That's fair. It's kind of despicable that you guys would work with them, but I understand. Employers are employers, but if your employer <laughs> asks what happened to them, you can just tell them that the goblins met their end at the hands of the girl with the dragonborn tattoo. <laughs> That's fine by me. Yeah, whatever. Rip Bozo. Well, <laughs> I will see you guys later. Or not. Let's not see each other anymore. Anyway, I, I have to go to turn that situation around, so whatever. Uh, she she goes, I have to go uh oh she's uh, she sees Stumbo Stumbo's over there like juggling for someone, that's why he's not jumping in this conversation. <laughs> uh and she goes, I have to go wipe the shit that he uh put in my living room. <laughs> I, I forgot that is still there. You guys didn't clean that up. We didn't clean that up. No, we, I would still have. There. Yeah, that's still there. So I will. Good, good day. She walks right off. You guys head off towards the Griffin. I mean, there's nothing else uh, to really say about that. And uh, you, the Griffin is actually still sitting in its nest. It seems like it has picked up some sort of goat and is kind of sitting there eating on it. And it looks up to you with like blood on its because of rah. There, buddy, how's it ah. gone? Ah! And he like puts down its beak into its food and like nudges it towards you. No thanks, I'm not hungry. But you keep eating, little guy. We got a we got a journey ahead of us. Ah! And he digs back into his carcass of uh, horse. So, uh, yeah. So, what's the plan here? We're gonna try taming this thing a little bit better to ride it. Yeah. Okay. So the way we'll do this is uh, we're gonna make. Three animal handling checks and two. Anyone want to help me with these? I'll help. Okay, so here's how the animal handling checks are going to go. The he'll gain advantage if you're helping him. He'll gain advantage on every roll. Okay. Um, they're going to progressively get harder, mm -hmm. and you need to pass two of them. Okay, so I got first it. First one is going to, like last time. So I can think, we all help him? 
Um, it's you can't. There's no such thing as like triple advantage, double advantage, yeah. whatever. So it's Great. like everybody, everybody assists in this. So he gets, you know, you guys are, you know, Caesar maloning on multiple levels, uh, dog <laughs> whispering this Griffin, and the first DC last time I think started at ten. So this one's going to start at twelve. Okay. So roll animal handling at advantage. That's a seven and right. an eighteen. Okay, so you pass eighteen. Only only amp roll it. Yeah. Wow. So amp rolls an eighteen on that. So the first one immediately passed. So you you um uh, the it it pays attention to you, and I'll, I'll tell you the DC in a second. Yeah. It pays attention to you, and you stroke its beak a couple times, and you kind of like climb off of its back, and you get like comfortable, and it looks back at you for a sec, stands up, and then just stands there looking at you, and it's like. Rawr! So next DC is going to be. I gave that a 12, so we're going to increase by 2. It's a 14. Okay, well, I pass it. Uh, I rolled two 12s at advantage, so I have a 16 total. Okay, so uh, the griffin itself starts kind of strutting around with you on its back, and it kind of seems like you're, you're rolling with it. And uh, we're going to do one more animal handling. This is going to make, make it or break it for uh, how easy it is for the rest of your compadres to do this. Uh, this okay. is going to be at a 16. A 16 oh, plus a 14, so I have a unnatural 20 and an 18. So with your unnatural 20, I mean, just rolling the dice, uh, it starts strutting around a little bit more, and you keep petting it, and uh, it kind of, like, it jumps, and it kind of hovers for a second with, like, flapping its wings, and it lands, and it looks to the rest of your party, um, and it kind of, it, it's docile. It, it's comfortable with you on its back. You know, you're sitting in the right way. However... I don't think it would be able to fit all of you on it. Um, yeah, well, not. We need a cart. So, if you guys remember, uh, you actually have that Cult of the Firing cart outside yeah. town. Yeah, we should probably go get it. We should, you know, strip all the garbage off of it first. Fuck yeah. those guys. You guys head up to the back, the front side, east side of town where you came from, Dust Branch, and uh, go to the tree lines where the cart was. And it's still there, actually, completely like intact you guys hit it pretty well someone give me a either slide a hand or a performance roll to try editing this and they can make an advantage if they because everybody's going to be helping 21. 21 and a 12 21 so you guys start ripping off like parts of the uh the cart and because rowan was antsy and rolled the slide of hand Sorry. without conferring with her teammates and got a crit fell uh rowan roll me a d6 of damage because as you're pulling it off you actually like get a very bad splinter in your dragon scale. <laughs> bad splinter. Do you take damage? Okay. You take four damage. <laughs> got a fucking inch of wood placated in your hand. Yeah. Do you... But the cart is fashioned pretty well, actually. Rip off the roof, you kind of open it up more, and now there's room for three of you to sit in it. Yeah. Well, we'll have to throw NPC's fucking ass in the back. So my question is, Pass you gotta have the Griffin the carry the cart. Are you going to have a way to strap it up to the griffin? I'm going to strap it to the griffin. We can get some reins. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's kind of what I thought. I just wanted to make sure I asked. So you strap it to the griffin, and I guess it's time to head out, right? Yeah. So your griffin is now... Actually, set. first, before we do, can we go drag NPC's ass out of the market? Yeah, <laughs> he's, it, like, he's still chuckling no, in the middle of the market. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> you, like, you guys like do the, the old montage thing where you run from the griffin, run back to the cart, and you bring the cart back. And like one of you stops and sees NPCs still juggling. And it's like really <laughs> fast forward playing the da -da 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 -da. like in the background. You guys are doing all the shit while NPCs just sitting there juggling. So God. yeah, one of you comes out and grabs him, yanks him back, and he's for some reason still juggling as you're dragging him. Uh, really, really out of it for some reason. God, this guy fucking, he always, I don't know if he's on drugs or fucking one. I don't know how he does it. Yeah, just, uh, just a heads up for everybody. NPC's power unfortunately cut out and the show must go on. So He got struck down by God for being in the path of a hurricane because he's dumb. As you guys are flying through the air, you know, you're kind of enjoying the scenery heading west. Uh, you kind of, like... You start shaking. The griffin kind of like jolts and shakes for a second. And... It's having a seizure. As, uh, as it's flying, it stops at its head. Does like a full 180 and it looks at you, Amp, while it's still flying forward. And uh, you can see it not talking, but looking at you and you hear in your head the voice of Garzara. Hello? 
Oh, hey, hey, yeah, hey, guys, hey, hey, hey. I'm, so I'm transferring my thoughts to your Griffin. What's up? Oh, that's good. Oh, uh, what? Well, holy crap, we're way high there. You guys are fly, Dude, you got a Griffin. Yeah. yeah. I remember you showed me this app. I think it's cool. It is pretty cool. At least I think so. I think yeah. you do, too. It's yeah, pretty fucking baller, yeah. I do, 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 do. So, uh, where are you guys headed? We're on our way to uh, Daggerford. Oh, Daggerford. I believe so. Yes, that is, is that correct? Everyone else, we're here. We're on our way to yep. Daggerford. We're heading up Daggerford. Okay. We're going okay. to Fort Dagger Point, whatever the fuck you want to call it. So, uh, so uh, how did everything go? Everything go good for you guys? We, we, uh, sea Cumber all good now? We we cleared some cultists out of Sea Cumber. The fire ring's yep. still there, but we've been told that Daggerford holds the answer to getting rid of these things. Oh, or no, at least no, something no. near Daggerford. Yeah, yeah, remember it's, uh, uh, there's a castle. I also convinced another uh, guard depot that the cult of the fire ring is all fucked up and nasty. Oh, that, that's awesome. That That's great. What, what about Raz and his wife? Did you ever, uh, you ever take that, take her, how'd your goblin thing come out? Uh, no, it went fine. <laughs> <laughs> all of the goblins are dead except one, and yeah, the person actually. we uh, sent there has escaped, but it's not the prerogative right now. No, really no, I, I, it, hey, I was just, I was just, I was just curious, I was just curious, she, you know, she was kind of mad when I, like, took over Raz's body, <laughs> you know, she didn't know it was me, but, you know, he was really bad, so I was she like, was, oh. She was a little mad, yeah. But, but, oh, oh, wait, so all the goblins are dead? Did she, did she that mad? She killed all those goblins? That's... There were two, there were two left alive, but yeah, she, there's she two killed a left. couple. Yeah, oh, but, yeah. you know, penis theft is a crime I don't prosecute, so. Don't, yeah. don't even want to ask what that means, but okay, penis theft, that's crazy. Uh, so, uh, back to what you said right there, Amp, actually, uh, I was the one who told you about it, uh, I don't actually think you were in that conversation. Uh, it shows these guys told you everything about it, Oh. No, but uh, it's a castle north of Daggerford. It's like where all yeah. the magic of these things emulate. Um, I do not know who owns that castle at all. So, uh, good luck with that. Yeah, just uh, be careful and all that jazz, you know. Get rid of, of these course. fire rings. They're about to destroy towns. I don't got to tell you what you guys have to do in your job. You know what you're doing. Yeah. So, uh, as for Daggerford itself, I kind of... Like, yeah, I've, I'm keeping busy, guys. What you guys, you know, doing all you're doing is much. I'm keeping busy. And uh, I actually did you one better. I've actually already got in contact with Evan, the one who lives in Daggerford, our resident cultist member. All right, thank you. Uh, problem oh, is, God. Evan is in prison. <laughs> so, oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> like, don't know what... Uh, so, apparently, he, like, attacked a couple women or some shit like that. <laughs> oh, crazy. Yeah, he, I'm about he to call him Von Floydendorf for all that shit. What? I'm about to, go, I'm about to fucking call him up and ask him if he's of the Von Floydendorf line. The Von... You sure he didn't come from our world? Uh, no, I, I mean, who knows, you know? I mean, there's other people in there that are from our world. I mean, who knows? I, I don't know. Actually, now you got me, now you got me, I, I, I'll, you know what? I'll be back. I'm, I'm going to talk to Evan. Uh, you guys, uh, good luck on whatever you're doing. If you need me, you know how to get in contact with me. Uh, only thing I can really give you, give you a heads up on, the, there's a strong magical entity, like, emulating from that castle. That's obviously how these things are being powered. So, that, obviously, you know that they, they got to be in some pretty dank magic. Yeah. So, let's, uh, just, uh, just, if you need me, you know what to do. Uh, oh, actually, you, if I've, I actually have been... In contact with Sprocket, Sprocket told me about that portal thing you guys set up, uh, pretty nifty, and uh, we were kind of thinking, I think I might now be able to influence the world a little bit more um, with this adventure she's working on. So whenever you guys head back to Dust Branch, or so next time you speak to her, just uh, yeah, ask her about that. Uh, it might, All be, right. might be pretty cool, pretty, pretty, pretty balls, pretty tits, you know. Sure will. Yeah, so, all right, uh, oh yeah, by the way, your griffin's gonna, he's gonna be more subservient now that I've taken over his body, but he's gonna be kind of weird, okay? Yeah, I, I haven't seen, people don't handle the forced possession by a uh, all-knowing entity thing very well sometimes. It, it, it really depends if I have to do something to you, you know, 
Like if you have yeah. to find me, but this guy right here, it's a, it's you know, it's a beast. I have to had to co-work it a little bit, and also this next thing is not possible without my power. So good job <laughs> branding that thing, by the way. That was actually a smart idea. Smart idea. Thank you. So all right, Audi. And uh, right, Griffin's back. head stays turned around, looking at you, and then its its eyes kind of like ungloss. It's still flying forward. And its tongue falls out of its mouth, and it snaps back in. The eyes kind of, like, focus up, and it goes, Roo! Roo! <laughs> And flips its head back around, and it keeps flying f- straight. And now it's barking as it's flying. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, where is your guys' destination? You going to Daggerford, or are you going to that castle? We should. I mean, shouldn't we get into contact with the guy in prison first? It's up to you guys. Anyone else? And I feel like the guy in prison is a more like time pressing kind of matter. Uh, we rolled a fifty three on the encounter table. As you guys fly over the, I mean, you're you're pretty high up on the road, and it's carrying the Griffin's carrying the carriage. You just talked to Garzara. You do see it. What looks like a congregation of people down on the road. If you guys want to go investigate it or fly past. Let's investigate. We got time, yeah, I think. I mean, probably, maybe. Griffins are pretty fast. To be honest, yeah, you'll make it there before the day's out. Uh, but you have time to investigate this. Also, going off time frames of how long it's been, you've been in Seacumber is for like, you've been there for a total, I think, about three days or four days. So it's not been an extreme amount of time. Honestly, I think it's three days. Like, yeah. like I think this is your third day, actually. So, so you're making great time anyway. As you guys fly or fly down to the circle, the the group of people look up at you, and uh, they they all start like they scatter into the trees um, because a griffin just landed. And <laughs> as you guys like set the cart or the griffin sets the cart down and lands beside it, uh, nothing. It's everything has went still, but. They one person pops their head out and they go, "Are you friendly?" I mean, we haven't tried. Yeah, I mean, what? We're, I didn't think you guys are all right, right? Like we didn't. Yeah. We scare you? Yeah, you're 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 on a beast. That's fair. I, I it's not very normal to be on a griffin. Yeah, I understand. So, uh, all right, uh, everybody, come out, I guess. And as he says this, a group of gnomes all of them all of them about three feet or three foot tall uh step out from the trees and walk or kind of walk out and they're like um hi or you guys traveling you you what what you yeah we're on our way to daggerford oh oh daggerford yeah we're on our way to seacumber uh yeah that how'd you where'd you get that thing uh, we were walking through the woods, and this griffin was accosting us as wow. we were walking through. So instead of attempting to kill it, we just, you know, tried making it our friend, and it worked out. Ah, okay. Um, well, I, that that's interesting. Are, 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 anything we should know about Seacumber? We're heading there. Uh, Seacumber's doing pretty all right for itself. It, there isn't really much. I mean, it's not nothing, nothing really out of the ordinary. Does it got one of those rings above it? It does, unfortunately. We wow. there were we had some cultist trouble there, but the cultists yeah, uh, we got rid they, of. They, yeah, they've pretty much vanished. Ah, uh, well, Daggerford is uh, I don't know. It's kind of uh, dirty right now. Is the best way to put it. A lot of crime going on. So be careful if you're heading that way. But of course, um. And actually, if you, you guys come back through Seacover, why don't you come see us? We're a group of performers called the the Bean Troop. Okay. We're uh, we we host like little plays about beans, and we're all small, so you know we're all like, you know, we got Beanio and Juliet, and uh, uh, Beanleton, and well, do yeah, yeah. You, you come see one of our plays. We're yeah. So uh, yeah. the gnomes just kind of yeah, <laughs> they start to keep back onto the group of uh, back onto the way to Seacumber, 
And I guess you guys just take back off. Yeah, I mean, well, now we got a new new group of interesting fellas we know. Yep, you know a bunch of gnomes now. Um, and their gnomes name. pretty cool. Yeah, they uh, they they got some funny shit about them. But now you well, also you have some uh some information now that Daggerford is actually kind of um, Detroit s esque is the best way to put it. I wouldn't expect anything less from a place named Daggerford. Yeah. So as you guys fly towards Daggerford, um, you can see guards are like the the city is moving. So how are you doing it with this Griffin? Uh, well, we're just gonna go up to the front gates, and then you know, just gonna land tell, in front of the front yeah, gates. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna tell the guard, hey, uh, this is our this is our Griffin. He ain't hostile or anything, as you can see. You guys, we're trying. Pull up. You pull up to the front gates of Daggerford, and there's guards posted up. Like the gates are shut, big wooden wooden gates with a stone behind them. And a uh, guard ca- calls out from the top, and he's like, "Who goes that? And what is that? Is that Griffin? It is a Griffin. Sure he is. What's your business? Well, we're here. We got to find someone. You want entrance to the city? Yeah." With that thing. Yes. Yep. Is it going to hurt us? It, so long as you don't hit it or try to antagonize it, yeah, it's just like any other animal. So the guards kind of look back and forth and like, I don't know if we should let someone in here with an animal as big as that that could hurt someone. He's it's about trained as, yeah, to... It's about yeah. as big as a horse. I don't see an issue. He's trained to amp, so as long as you don't provoke amp or provoke the griffin, you'll be fine. Yeah, you, you gotta understand, that, that sounds more threatening than it needs to be. Well, just don't hit him. I, don't, I, don't, I can't really see much of an issue here. You wouldn't go up to someone's uh, you wouldn't go up to someone's steed and you wouldn't just slap it, would you? That's how you no, get kicked in the mouth. No, but like, I understand what we're saying here. Is like you, it sounds like if, you, if we threatened you, you could sick it on us. Or people. Do you, that- really, do you really think we'd enter your town knowing a guard garrison could kill us all pretty fast? You have more guards than you have us by at least a factor of four. You would definitely kill this griffin and us. So, uh, as you say, he goes, okay, that's a fair point. Yeah, we, we do have a very strong guard captain. Roll me an inside check. I, yeah, I expected it. You guys do seem very strong here in Daggerford. Roll an inside check. An insight. All right, cool. Hold on. Sorry, I thought you heard I'm me. I'm surprised that. you didn't I want did him to roll a persuasion. No. Insight, for a reason. Uh, insight's wisdom, right? Yep. Investigation, insight, plus two, so I have 15. Uh, yeah, this guy's not being truthful. When he says, oh. When he oh, says, he when he says, yeah, we have a big, strong, robust guard that definitely... Yeah, yeah, we will definitely handle... You guys, if you cause trouble, so don't, don't do it. Oh, oh, sir, we won't. Me talking to the quads man when I have a 357 in that corner on factory. Don't do it. So, <laughs> uh, he uh, they open up the gate. As you walk in, uh, you can see that it is, it is late, or it's late afternoon, getting around like 4 to 6 o'clock in the afternoon. So... The sun has it set, but it, it there's still a lot of people going around, and you can it's it's very chaos. Like it seems like chaos is stricken. There's people screaming. You see people running around. Um, you see some guards like being. You see in the corner over on the side of the street a, a guard on the ground being kicked by like three people around him. Um, you can look down. There's someone like holding somebody up with a, a dagger. And like doing that thing, and he's like, "Give me your money, give me your money with his hand." <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's it's what all the fuck is going on here. It's, it's all cartoony, violent stuff going on. And uh, as you guys kind of walk in town, you see a, a dude steps out in in the path of the road, and he goes, "Welcome to Daggerford, travelers. Oh, uh, it seems you're new to town. Ooh, a large thing you got there." Don't buy it. Oh, yeah. So, uh, to enter Daggerford, we are right now taking a cover fee because it's basically the town is under a little bit of stress. So, 
just uh, 10 gold per person, and don't worry, we won't, won't charge you for your griffin, if uh, you guys would be so kind. Can you tell us the, uh, can you tell us the uh, provisional structure around here? Who do you work for? Uh, so... <laughs> Damn it, I was muted. I was muted the whole time. Fuck. Okay. I, I was bitching about the 10 gold per person, and I wanted to know if I could do that, uh, where I can, like, see if they're lying, or seeing, like, not see if they're lying, but, like, see... Never mind. I'm just gonna let this play out. Whatever. Okay. I'm gonna, so, I'm, I'm gonna go off Amp's question of who you worked for. Oh! <laughs> The mayor of the town, of course. Right is basically his right hand man. You know, he always knows about me. So, uh, yeah, it goes What's to the mayor's town. name. Uh, everybody knows the mayor's name. His name is Salty Spittoon. His name's hmm. Salty Spittoon. You know, that sounds oddly familiar. Yeah, it does sound oddly familiar because there's not there. This is Daggerford. Everybody knows about Daggerford. We're basically water deep, but not water deep. You know, and Why these you know, are so hard. Huh. He's like sailing this too hard. Look, really? You're in the town of Salty. We need to make sure you pay your entrance fee. So, if you guys go ahead, hand your ten gold over person. I wanna, I wanna make a fucking, I wanna, I wanna fucking take an insight against him. Go yeah, that's, guy, he that's is, what I wanted. To, yeah, he is fucking. Because why did the guards collect money? That's one. I, that is a roll, one. Can I roll an insight? Yeah, you can. I said, because why didn't the guards take the money if we were supposed to pay an entry fee? Technically, we entered with the guards. So, Ant rolled a crit, uh, critical fee. Mine's fight. a fucking three. I'm going to kill myself. 17. So, uh, Ant... Don't worry, boys. I got it. <laughs> well, Ant <laughs> got a crit fail. And I punished the crit fails. So, here's how this is going to go. Rowan, this guy... I mean, you you kind of like observe his demeanor. He is dirty. He's got ratted clothes. He looks like he he looks like a cutthroat, and he's does very, he stink per se. What does he stink per se? Uh, you know, above him you can see three stinks, uh, stink lines hovering oh, above okay. his head. Yeah, We're the, the P U lines. Example. However, <laughs> Amp, with your with your uh, crit fell, and Andy with your three, I'm actually going to kind of. Rap amp is rolling up on you. Ramp like leans over to you, and both of you kind of agree. It's, yeah, yeah, we should probably start pulling out our money and all that. Uh, Stumbo automatically just believes him, and ten letters, I guess, isn't doing that. So. Can I can I like slide a hand, uh, kind of like nonchalantly, not signal to them, but like kind of like grab one of their hands and be like, not yet, don't put. Don't yeah, you can totally ball. do that. Totally yep. do that. I want to do that and get Dongle to ask him more questions. So, uh, you might need to ask questions because now Dongle and Grouchy, sorry, you're about to have RP this. What, what do you say to Dongle to stop him? Um... You grab Amp's hand. Grab Amp's hand and don't you... Uh, why aren't you paying a fee for your griffin since the guards were so um, worried about it? Why doesn't the griffin have to get pay its way too? It's as big as a horse. It's going to take up just as much uh, supplies that we are passing through, getting water and food and such. Well, hell, I don't know. Motherfucker. <laughs> that was me persuading you not to pay the uh, Remember, he, he's playing his character well. He rolled a crit fell. So you're you going to have to really sell this to both of them. Yeah, yeah. I was like, well, this guy's kind of reasonable. Yeah, seems to be a man of the people. Man, fuck you guys. I don't know how to. Um. This is called growth. Yeah, all you gotta do Grouchy. is say is no fuck off. This guy's a goddamn grifter. Always you has been. Always will him? be. You can if you want. It's literally up to you. Okay, but what I okay, what I wanted to say was, um, this dude seems shady. Does not seem like he is the the man uh, of. Of the people for this town. He's dirty. He looks like a hobo. And if he's collecting all this money and working for the town, why ain't he took a bath? This place isn't exactly the most stable place. Well, Even if know, he is working he for the... He's saving the money for somebody. For all, for all we know, this is just the standard of living around here. Nah, you can't really sketch. assume... Sketch, look, sketch. I bet it's sketch. It's just sketch. I ain't paying my 10 gold. I ain't fucking happening. So, uh, as, as you guys are in your conversation, he chimes in, he's like, I have, I have trouble, trouble fellas, 
fellettes, women and yeah, men. Yeah, I want to know who exactly you are. Oh, I'm I'm old dirtbag Harry, you know. Old oh, dirtbag Harry. That's not trusting at all. I mean, my mom named me Dirt. My middle name is Bag. You have to say the name together. And what is your last name? Harry. I think that was pretty obvious. That's a weird. It's a weird name. It's a weird name there, Dirtbag. What's bag. your name? Rowan. Oh, that it? Yeah, just Rowan. Yeah, pretty generic to only have one name, huh? You yeah. know what? You know what, Rowan? Mm-hmm. It seems like you're the only one that has an issue with besides your cohorts. Yeah, yeah, apparently. Apparently I am. Apparently yeah, I mean, I am. fucking, yeah, I don't know what to tell you, Grouch. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, who, who's your, like, who's your, like, the, where's the mayor? Can we talk you to the sell mayor? It. Can we can we see so some will, like higher security or? You want to speak to Mister Salty? Yeah, let me speak to Mister Salty. Well, there's a process to go through to talk Salty. You know, after you pay your fee, I can pencil you guys in, put in a good word for you so you can get a audience with him if you want putting in a good word but not guarantee me i'm gonna see the man after i give you 10 gold he's a busy guy uh, and you're paying you're paying your entrance fee to the town this is exactly a man that's so busy if i'm handing over let's say 30 gold to talk to said man then he shouldn't be that busy just because you go into a butcher shop you don't have to see the owner every time you buy a piece of meat the owner is usually the butcher handing the meat out because he wants to sell the quality of his product so if you want to sell the quality of the product of this town, which is clearly in shambles, then I assume you would get the man in charge if you want the 30 gold. So, let's do this. Oh, oh so we just... No, don't not that, it. not that. I messed click. He, he stops and he goes, All right, Miss, Mrs. Rowan. I get your drift. Don't worry. You feel, what, you feel what I'm putting down. Don't worry. I'll be lenient today. You guys oh, can okay. come in for free. But yeah, we'll okay. remember you. Please do. He, he walks off and like dips into an alleyway, and uh, without collecting her money. Yeah, without what? collecting your money. Without <laughs> collecting her fucking money. Uh, yeah. You're welcome. I just saved us thirty gold. Well, I saved y'all ten gold apiece because I won't pay in fucking ten gold. I don't know what you're talking about. I was just paying the fee to get in town. Yeah. We're already in the town. How can we pay a fee when we're already in? Well, I mean, the rules. You gotta make, spend money to make money, you know? Yeah. Nah. nah. Sometimes money Sometimes money has to be the most important element of a conversation. Oh, okay, can, I, can I convince Grouchy's character to give him 40 gold? <laughs> no, he's, oh, he's that god. He's that god. <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate you guys for really so, like, Played up the fact you rolled low on your insight. I really, really, really. I didn't even fuck it. I was just at a loss for words because Grouchy just didn't even try. I really thought y'all would just like jump in. I didn't know I'd just be thrown to the fucking. Oh, oh no! I was at there a loss are. for words. I can't. I can't spitball conversation if you don't talk. Yeah, no. So like, yeah, they rolled so low. Well, he crit failed, so I made Andy jump in with him. And I, I was I was hoping you'd pick up what I was putting down. I, you did kind of, but it's like, hey, you got to convince that you got to talk to these two. These two believe him. So yeah, I caught it on the end. I didn't I didn't catch that in the beginning. Yeah, Where's it, Tim at? As Dirtbag Harry slips back into the alley and out of peripheral, you guys kind of like look at the lay of town. It's still completely in chaos, and that guard that was being kicked is now just laying there unconscious on the side of the road. Uh, the person who was being held at knife point with a gimme, 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 uh, hand side being thrown at him, is sitting on the ground bleeding now. Um, <laughs> there's just a lot of stuff going on. And as you guys are, like, just kind of walking down through the streets, you know, you keep you keep your head on a swivel because of all the stuff going on. And you see, um, you see a group of guards rush over uh, into this building... And then the building explodes, and all of them run out on fire. And it's just, yeah, just all all of them are on fire now, and they they run out and they start stop dropping. Wow. And this uh, town really reminds me of Tucson. So, like, what do you guys uh, what do you guys want to do? It's there's a lot of chaos going around. You gotta go to the okay. prison. Well, right? one of the guards that are unconscious. Let's go get them up. See what the fuck's going on. So one of the guards that's on fire actually puts itself out. Stands up and dusts himself off, and he just, whew, 
And uh, you guys approach him, and he turns around, and he pulls the sword out. He's like, Halt! What do you want? To figure out why the fuck everybody's on fire? Ah, uh, well, there's a madness in this town. Uh, what? Are you are you trying to rob me? I, I warn you. No, we're fucking travelers. What? We're trying to figure out why the fuck everything's on fire, and this shit is worse than Baltimore in 2009. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, um, everything, it's been getting worse and worse. It's almost but like, why? I don't know. I don't, what, what do you mean? Why? When did it start? When a did couple it start days ago. Bad? Couple days ago. What happened a couple days ago? What do you mean a couple days? What happened? I don't know. It literally did the woke water up. Did change? <laughs> <laughs> I don't Sorry, understand continue. this guy. We woke continue up. I woke up, went outside, and everything, it, it was like people just lost their mind. And we've literally been doing everything we could. We, I don't know. Where's your but local, we uh, where's your local prison house hang out? Wait, both of you were talking at the same time. One of you. One right. of you. you go on, asshole. Appreciate that, douche. When you said that you woke up and everybody started acting crazy, how are they acting crazy? What was going on? Did they start looting? Did people start killing yes. people? Yes, yes, everything. It's the guard has literally. I don't think I've been home in the last couple of days. My my wife and kid have been staying at the the barracks because it's just it's like everybody lost their mind. Hmm. Is there a ring of uh, fire over this town? Yes. There, so this Did the ring, ring of, of fire, fire change colors? Did the scar so get darker? Did so, the ring get smaller? So, so um, I took that question out of character. Um, do you want to ask it in character or out of character? I'd like to ask it in character. Okay, so uh, ring of fire. Are you say let's let's Did, run it back, run it back. Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> Did the sky get darker? Did the ring of fire get smaller? Did it get brighter? Like what happened with the sky? Huh? Wait, wait. He looks up, and uh, he sees Ring of Fire. He's like, "I, I, it's that's been there." But it didn't change at all. So as you guys look up at the Ring of Fire, like when you're pointing at it, uh, this fire is actually not see through and made of fire. It's actually a solid red color that seems to be like throbbing. Like when you when you look at it. The, oh, it's almost, oh, I love it when they throb. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, it, it's throbbing. So, uh, this ring of fire does not look like the other like towns. The others. Okay. Um, and now you can go on to Dongle's question. So, what were you about to say, Dongle? Have you noticed any people in red robes with an odd branded symbol on their arms or backs or anything running around here? So. He looks around and uh, he, he was like, we, we had a, a group of priests that were in red robes that were in town. They, they left like a day ago. They were not priests, I'm sorry to say. Well, they went to they, the church. Trust, they were, trust me, they were not priests. You know, uh, okay. Um, uh, if you know anyone around here with with a, a ring on them, branded on them, anything that looks like that ring up there, and I'll point at the fire ring, uh, you need to arrest them now. Yeah, they yeah. are causing you problems. Good. They, they are the they are the th reason that this is happening. Uh, good luck, good luck, buddy. Uh, you want us to arrest them with? And as he says that, uh, the second building explodes. And he's like, I, I think. If you guys need something, go to the barracks. I, I gotta help my... And he, they, they start screaming. He runs off towards the other guards. Um, so you got the church. You got the barracks. You got the mayor's... Uh, the mayor's... Kind of... Um, how do I say this? There's a very large building in town that has a very large bulb on it. Oh, well, he lives in the cock house? <laughs> yeah, the cock house. Yeah, no, it's like, uh, almost looks like it could be a, an observatory, so, but uh, where do you guys want to go? We should uh, start looking for these cultists, we can get rid of them, that's what I think, anyone else? We we do need to find the cultists, but shouldn't we steal the bulb? Yeah, that might also work too. What? 
Wouldn't the cultists come to us if we stole the bulb? Well, let's go bulb? to the fucking observatory or the bulb. No, no, no. I was, I was at, that was a legitimate question. I was asking. No, no, no. The bulb, when I say bulb, it's like a circle on top of a building. It almost looks like an observatory. Well, let's oh, go so to it and see what... We can't grab it. Yeah, you can't yeah. physically grab it. That's the mayor's house. So... Oh, that's the mayor's? Let's go, well, let's go talk to the mayor and see if we can fucking figure this shit out. Yeah, maybe the cultists are there. So, uh... Alright, <laughs> so yeah, you guys head to the mayor's house. So as you guys are... Head down the street on your griffin. Do you do you continue walking or do you guys fly? Well, only one person yeah. can ride the griffin, right? I mean, we could just stay on the cart. Yeah, I mean, you, yeah, you guys, uh, I just want to make sure. So you guys take off and he lifts the cart back up with everybody in it. And you fly over to the mayor's house and below you, you can see this madness is still just prevalent in all areas. And it's just, it's crazy. It's like you turned on riot mode in GTA San Andreas. So, as you <laughs> land in front of the observatory, the door itself is just a big, big metal door. And uh, it appears to be, it's shut. So, and Hello? above it says a sign that says, Mayor Salty. We should probably knock and try to get in so we can, you know, talk about this bullshit. Yes, let's knock first, <laughs> not just walk in. So as you guys uh, knock on the door, you bang on the metal, and you hear echo up through it, and the door swings open by itself, and you hear a little voice come out of the little... Or there's a pipe. I don't know if you know what uh, communication pipes are. They're like an old British thing. There's a little pipe at the top, or front of the door um, off to the right side at the top, and you hear a voice come through the pipe, and it goes, it goes, Well, come in. What do you want? If your robber is just pre-warning you, you will be exploded before you get up the stairs. Well, we're not here to rob you. We're here to discuss how your town's gone to shit. We're trying to help you. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, come upstairs. Okay. Um, right. As you guys run and walk into the observatory, this first floor is a very large... A cylinder room made of wood and there's books everywhere there's chairs uh, it seems like he's had a lot of it's like a library basically as you head upstairs it's your very generic looking type of observatory where you come up it's a big platform and in the seat sits a small little man with a gray beard and he looks up he's looking up through this big magnifying glass uh, that's got a smaller magnifying glass all the way down basically a tele or man made telescope. And he stops his chair, spins around, and he's like Well hello, I am Mayor Salty. Mr Spittoon, if you would, but Salty is fine as well. Well hello, Mr Salty. What can I do for you, gentlemen and gentlewomen? Anyone else want to chime in? Got any questions for our start? <laughs> Yeah, uh, can I ask him about the dirt bag guy? Yeah, I want. Too. Yeah, I want to ask him about who who uh, who dirt bag is. Uh, who? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's okay. You just answered my question. Okay. Ten. Ten I mean, letters. We did. We already ask him about the. Or, do we already know where the prison is? If not, we could just ask him that. Okay, yeah. so Ten was partially listening. Um, yeah. Thank you, Ten. <laughs> uh, for one, we do need to know where your prison is. We have a uh, contact from my company who is unfortunately arrested. And uh, we need to discuss some things. I don't know what crime he committed. Okay. But uh, we, don't, we don't exactly need him out of jail yet, so I'm not going to ask you to try to release him. You don't know us yet. But, you know, if we could talk to him, that'd be great. Okay. Uh, our prison is located right beside the guard barracks. Uh, Thank you. If you need to speak to an inmate, pretty sure one of the guards will allow you to as long as you uh, are very courteous. Okay. Right now, obviously, you can see the town is kind of in turmoil, and it's kind of a lot on my guard right now. That's fair. So, it is very hectic out there. Yep, yep. I saw uh, a man beat somebody uh, else to death with a roll of bread earlier. Wow, that's a hard piece of bread. No, it's just he... Put the bread on his face and you start punching it, and it smashed the bread completely. But he kept punching through it, saying it was softening the blow. 
That sounds sexy. Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Salty. That sounds uh, what? Is there any red cloaked men still left in the town? Uh, priests. You might know them as. Uh, if they're priests, they would be at the church. But as to if there's in. I have stayed up here. I'm a very important man, and I'm trying to investigate something right now, so I know my town is in ruin, but I can only do so much. That's why my what guard you, is handling. What are you trying to investigate? Um, before I tell you that, I would need some reassurance. Sure. That you're trustworthy. Okay. Who are you? <laughs> Anyone? Sorry, right. I was laughing at fucking like, like, That's, what, uh, yeah, that's what I was we, thinking about. They were like, oh, we're going to go fucking hang that guy afterwards. That's like a bad video. We're just, <laughs> um, you know, just nine travelers passing through the town. Needed to load up on some water and food. And uh -huh. Get on our way. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't believe that bullshit at all. That's good, because we're investigating these red-hooded fellows. Okay. I mean, do we tell him that? Yeah. yeah. Just... Uh, okay, then, yeah. Well, I mean, again, I haven't seen any red-hooded fellows, but again, if they're priests, they'd be at the church. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Might be but, a little bit iffy on that priest. But if you, if, if you want to know... Yeah, understandable. They might, be, they might be saying they're priests, but, you know, they look the part, kind of, in a way. But, I mean... Or warm disarmed anyways. I don't know, if you want, I guess go try cleaning up the streets, and I don't really know what you want from me. I, I can't just tell you what I'm investigating, because I don't really know you yet. Yeah, I mean, currently what we're doing is trying to make sure the city's not fucking explode, but, you know, that's uh, just how it goes. So, as you say that, he, he stops and he looks at you, and he's like, what do you know about the exploding? You know, it seems that whenever these ring guys are around, and whenever that ring of fire comes around, it seems that they need to siphon a whole lot of energy real fast whenever to make a you know a little bit of an appearance. And uh, what has a lot of energy that you can get really fast? People. And uh, you get a lot of people at once. Well. Wow. Huh. You guys... So you're knowledgeable in these rings then, right? Or somewhat... Enough to know that they're fucking bad and should, you know, these red guys ain't exactly the greatest. That's true. And if I hadn't been locked up in, oh man, it's been, I've been in this observatory studying for so long, I, I don't really know if any red guys have appeared in town, people in cloaks, but guard probably be the best place. Even though yeah. I know they're stretched in right now, protecting the few civilians that aren't acting insane. Uh, those are probably connected, but you know, who knows? And he goes, he says, all right, fine. Uh, the ring itself did change. Um, I did see when it changed. It was about two days ago. And I don't know what caused it, but as soon as it changed, it was like everybody felt this. Everybody started acting off. And they kind of. It seemed like everybody got really angry. You know what I mean? It seemed like their intentions were always skewed in some sort. But I I haven't seen magic like this before, and I personally I don't know what to do. Yeah, it's this magic is a fucking wicked sort. It's definitely not something normal people should be getting near. This shit is if you aren't if you aren't trained to handle this stuff. We had a person in our last village who got branded by one of the uh, cultists sponsoring this event. Mm -hmm. They fucking exploded. Trying to summon this. They exp they exploded into a burst of fire and lightning once they got branded. It is too dangerous to handle. He he grabs, like, he pushes up his glasses and he looks down. And he's like, that's ins Oh, man. Oh, I can only imagine. I can only imagine. I have a brand, you say, though. Yeah, where where would where do they brand them or what do they brand them with? Do you know that by chance? As far as we've seen, it's an insignia of a flaming ring. Huh. 
usually upon the wrist. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, it can be it can be anywhere from some situations, but check the wrist first. Okay. You know, I'm going to take you guys at face value because I don't think I really have any other options at the moment. Do you need something from me particularly? Because this is all the information I have. But if you guys are planning to stop them and you have an idea of how to, I can at least offer Daggerford's help. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, there are... These cultists go by the cult of the fire ring, as you can tell by the big fire ring. Uh, they usually, they're usually they usually wearing red. Yeah, I, I can imagine the red, the red makes sense, but the name is kind of... Um, Kind of on the nose, isn't it? Yeah, I don't... From what we've heard, they're... The deity they worship isn't exactly known for his subtlety. He's very grandiose. He's very verbose. I understand. Always a flashy one. Well, okay. That, you know what? Great. If uh, you need anything, you know, here. And he writes down a piece of paper, and he's like, this is my seal. Um, if you need any help, or... Just tell the guard that you're working with the mayor. It seems like I, I need... I, this is out of my hands. I, I really have nothing I can do. Well, no, you have something you can do. You need to issue a decree to your guards. But first, you need to check your guards and make sure they also aren't a part of this. Okay. What what should the decree be? The decree should be that you should, that you should all be notifying a third party, us or yourself, personally... If they notice any activity relating to this cult, if they have meetings, if they see someone in the street, if someone's preaching, you need their name, what they look like, you need to know where they you need to know everything about them. Keep an eye on them. Okay. Okay. It may be it's gonna be difficult. Every this is some pretty fucking large turmoil that's happening right now. But if you can help us, I can assure you at least this town and most of its inhabitants will survive. I'm not so sure about the cultists. They are volatile. Alright, then I will do that. I will send word. And, uh, you guys said you were heading to the prison? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, here. And he writes down a piece of paper. He's like, hands to, uh, to get in the prison. You will have to speak to one of the guards anyway. Hand this letter to him. He'll know who to give it to, and this will at least set us in motion to that. So, but good luck with uh, whatever you're, whatever you need to do. And if you need help, just come back here. I will still be studying this. And uh, yeah, all right. Uh, when you head out, make sure you guys uh, pull on that door. I, it's on. It's on the swing mechanism that keeps it shut. But I just want to make sure it, it's locking right. All right, we'll make sure it's locked. So, all right, uh, you guys, got anything else to ask? Or are you heading out? No, I'm good. No, that's all I needed. Everybody, make a free persuade or perception check. Perception. Mine is a fifteen. Twenty. That's a crit. We've had a lot of crits tonight. Four. Andy, you just keep <laughs> with that. You keep up with those rolls, man. You'll get it. <laughs> you keep up with it, down, little boy. That you did clear that guy yeah, in half, but he did. All right, he so did. as you guys are walking down the stairs, Rowan, you've been on edge since you got your your scales are prickling, and uh, as you guys go to walk out, Rowan, um, the door itself is not fully shut, and there's someone in here, right behind you, in a pile of books. And, in uh, a pile of books. They have a bunch of... So, all the books are stacked up, actually, like, on desks and beside desks and all that. Except for one stack of books that is knocked over. And you can see a person's hat poking out of it. And he's, like, covered himself in books. Okay. Can I go investigate this person? Uh, you can walk up to that stack of books, yeah. Yeah. So, you are now in front of a stack of like knocked over books with a like, hat poking out the top of it and uh yeah do i see an actual person or is it just a hat you see yeah i mean you can see there's a person like connected to the hat he's poorly covered himself in these books can i uh ask him what he's doing what 
You can see me. Uh, yeah, I can see you. So he stands up and he goes, Oh, I walked in here and tripped into these books. Hey, and, these are actually a safety hazard, you know. And you just, you're here, why? And the door is open, so I just walked in. Mm-hmm. Can, uh... Let's drag him out. So what are you doing in here? I was coming to see the mayor. Oh, this is... Where's the mayor? Uh, Not in here. Let's drag him out. He yeah. takes out a piece of bread and he starts <laughs> chewing on it as he's talking to you. Oh, hell no. Nah. This is that motherfucker. Drag him out. Drag him out. Get, get, get All him right. Out All right, Tin. Tin, come on. Hel help me drag him out. Probably arrest him, yeah. Or fucking... Wait, I don't know what the fuck this guy's up to. Uh, can we, can we like, subdue him to the ground? Get the mayor's he, attention? He, you, you'll be that? able to grab him. There's no reason to roll on this. Okay, so, cool. I want to, like, grab him. As you guys him grab him and drag him out, he's like, he's like, oh, stop, oh, oh, let me finish my bread. Let me finish my bread, wait. <laughs> and you throw him out into the street, and he's like, hey. Right. He stands back up, he's still got the bread in his hand. He's like, that was not nice of you. You shouldn't put your hands on me. You're supposed to keep what? your hands to yourself. You should walk into nice. houses that don't belong to you. Who says that house don't belong to me? Because uh, we met the owner? How do I know you're telling me the truth? Can uh, I see some identification? You... Can we see some identification? Who the fuck are you? Well, my name's Tom. Alright, Tom. Who the fuck are you? Right now? Uh, I'm Rowan. Whoa. Well, Rowan. Walking in someone's house and then throwing them out in the street. Kind of a punishable crime. Uh, yeah. A uh, punishable crime is also walking in someone's house anyway and then hiding in a pile of books. I didn't hide. It was a safety hazard. I was trying to clean up my books I left there. You were trying to clean them up just by laying there? You no, the they fell over them. me. I told you I was trying to clean them up and they fell over me. See, mm, actually, you're starting to talk yourself backwards you because you are lying to me. Actually, what you first said was that you walked into the house and you tripped into the pile of books. Now you're saying you walked in the house and you tried to clean up the pile of books. So who's lying? Tomato, tomato. You can walk into a pile of books while you're cleaning. So if he's the sheriff and we're out here... Jesus. <laughs> Wait, is this Care. the mayor? Oh, no, this is not the mayor. <laughs> no, I'm making a fucking funny bit of you guys being fucking retarded. No. Mm -hmm. So he, he finishes his piece of bread. He's like, okay, well, I'm going to go to my house now. Uh, excuse me. He goes to walk by you guys. And so, so, like, are we just going to let this guy go? Do, like, do we know I who he is? I don't think we should. Cause anybody else so gonna he help slips me right by you guys, just kind of like... It smooches through you. you but know, no, like, we, like, the door, the locking mechanism on the door prevents people outside from coming in, right? Well, did we yes. security shut it behind us and make sure that that's... So he walks up and he just puts his foot on the door and it pops right open and he walks right back inside. Shouldn't we stop him? Yeah. <laughs> That'd probably help. <laughs> so he's, he's back inside the door shut. And, Can uh, we walk up and try to do the same thing he so did? As, our foot you, as you guys okay. walk up to the door, it goes clonk, and you hear it like fully shut. What the fuck? Did we just let the mayor get murdered? Yes. So you guys uh, didn't want to help at all? No, I didn't really. Hold on. <laughs> didn't you say we also securely shut it? So he just no. opened it. No, you guys no. Dra dragged him out and threw him in the street. Uh, can we like knock on the door again? Beat on the door? Get somebody? You knock on the, oh, you knock on the door. You knock on the door, and uh, well, I mean, they, yeah, if someone wants to knock on the door, they can. Yeah, I want to beat on the door like the police. You beat on the door, and uh, the door itself pops back open. You hear a little um, little voice thing go, "Who is that?" Uh, it's Rowan. Uh, the people that were just oh, go ahead, come up here. Walked. Go ahead, come up here. It's all good. It, oh, who, who are you? Who are you? And cuts off. Can we? Can I run upstairs? Yeah, you can run upstairs. Open. We fucking pry that shit open. No, yeah. door's still open. Door's still open. So you okay, guys run, run, run up the stairs. And, uh, well, I thought the door was closed. Yeah, he popped Didn't it open to talk me? to you. Popped it open. As soon as I beat on the door, it popped open. Yeah. 
so, and you guys rush upstairs as you crest the stairs over uh, the court. You start hearing the struggle. And the man has the mayor up. He's got a knife to his throat. He's like, whoa, 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 guys. Guys. Hold up. I got. I caught the intruder. This guy broke into my house. Okay. This is the mayor talking to us? No, this is the guy holding the knife. Holding yeah, the guy that told you he was the mayor. Right. That's what I thought. Okay. Um, guys, y'all want to help me out on this? He's like, so, um, yeah, this guy broke into my house, and he's been sitting in my chair right here. And, in fact, you, you know what? I'm glad you guys are here. You guys can at least, like, take this guy and throw him out. So what he's saying is the mayor is a fake. Yeah, this guy's a phony. Like, can I, can this I, is my get, house. Can I, uh, can I get a check on that? You can inside check him. Yeah, uh... 20 plus 2. Oh. Yeah, he's, he's telling the truth. This guy's phony. He got exactly. a 6. He's totally telling you the truth. 100%. So, uh, you guys can actually head out, and I'm going to handle this guy, because obviously he's very violent. Like, But the mayor wasn't violent to us. What are you talking about? That's not the mayor. This oh, God, this is confusing. This is even the mayor's house. You guys are in my house. And the, uh, the little guy being held goes, It's my fucking happy birthday, dude. Okay, so how, how can we determine who's lying and who's not lying? I don't know. How can you determine that? Do I really appreciate an, an insight did, check? An insight I literally check. asked it's anyone else. Something. Oh. It's fine. Well, <laughs> that's an intelligent save. No, that's not. That's not. Oh, it. Okay, I wish so. that. I wish that three was your insight. That would make it fucking even more fun. <laughs> Even worse, you're on the two. All right, so, uh, yeah, yeah, this guy's totally telling the truth. You know, at this point, uh, Andy, I'll... Andy for the freaking okay. Come on, say, now. Andy rolled a seventeen. Now there, about fucking time. We to be honest, uh, hey, uh, I've, even with the insight roll, um, this guy was in a pile of books, hiding in a pile of books. I know that was my thing. That was that was the whole reason I went over there. I was like, well, that's not cool. He came in when you got the door didn't shut fully, and he came in. No, I got was, that. I got that. And I was. Why are we debating who out. this man is? He's got a knife to the mayor's throat. Because I don't trust you. I'm not trying to fuck you over. I literally was telling you a lie to your face, and you believed me. No, I didn't believe shit. I have trust issues. Yeah, and I, I took the initiative to say, "Let's drag him out," and then just for him to come back in. Now he has yeah, somebody no, else. He's, he's just yeah, because no one, no one wanted to speak up and be like, "Let's let's like not <laughs> let him go back in the house." I've never experienced this in my so, life. But D D people just let me just yeah. So I just smooth right by you guys, <laughs> back in the fucking house. So he's Donald like, Taylor, where the fuck are y'all at? Y'all are just not even participating in this. No, they've been I taking the lead this entire I'm time. Here yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck you guys are doing? Man, if only this NPC guy was here. You're don't right. you dare play the NPC. You just woke up. Good morning. <laughs> if right. only. So anyways, back to Mr. Man holding the knife to his throat. Uh, so yeah, uh, Andy, you could tell he's full of fucking shit. And he, he's like, yeah, so go ahead. Go ahead. Oof, oof, that bread gave me indigestion. Go ahead and leave, guys. Uh, I got this handled. This guy isn't going anywhere. You know, at this point. Andy? You're the only yes. one that realizes he's t he's telling a lie. No, for for layman's sake, and uh, the rest of you can tell he's telling. You don't have to roll an insight set check. Okay. That's just if you can't make up your mind. Can I do? Can I um? Can I pull my crossbow and just shoot him then? Yeah, but you're going to. He's got a human shield, so you will make that okay. advantage. Yeah, don't don't do that. You know, with how shit this town is, the, the shit state of this town is right now, and with fucking, our only purpose here is getting that fucking guy from prison and uh, sending the portal and then going to the castle. Give, like, two shits about this. Okay, I can, we can solve this really fucking fast, right? Here's what it is. 
We restrain the both of them, and then we send one of you fuckers to go run over and bring a guard over to go absolutely make sure if you guys just really want to make sure. Oh, I don't need to make sure. Obviously, he's lying. We just need to get the knife away from the mayor's throat. So, mister, I've got all the ideas. Why don't you fucking figure out an idea for that one? Okay, how far away is the mayor from me? Uh, so this guy's about 20 feet away from me right now. 20 feet. Fuck. Yep. And I don't manifest that far. Who fucking and cares? I... Someone just walk up to the mayor and, like, grab him. Yeah. Fuck it. I'm just gonna With go a knife walk to his throat. Huh? Yeah. yeah. I'll fix him. Fuck it. Yeah, that'll be fine. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna walk up and fucking just abduct the mayor. So you you start stepping toward him, and he slits the guy's or the mayor's throat, and then pushes his body at you, and takes off running backwards. Oh, thank right. you. Uh, you can catch hey, no, no, no. Go catch, <laughs> go catch that guy. I'm gonna fix the mayor. Okay, well, let's go. So show we're after. gonna make a uh, opposing athletics check because I can imagine, Mister, the idea of your pot fucking like scooting across with your hands at breakneck speed is scary. So let's do this athletics check. <laughs> oh. Fuck. That is a 16. So the Mr. Guy got a 16 on his athletics check. Yeah. What'd you get? Let's see what I got. You fucking Nitty one. No plus fucking way. Plus, fuck, let me zoom this shit out. I can't read this shit. It, it doesn't Plus, anyone else? Out. Anyone else want to do anything yeah, to try to stop sure. this guy? Yeah, I'd love to stop him. Then go fucking roll your athletics. Yeah, take off running after this guy. I'm fixing yeah, the mayor. I up. Anything, so like, I fucking like, I get like narcolepsy. Oh, ten, I ten, no ten fucking ten way. <laughs> so okay, so we got so Andy rolled a crit fell, Satch rolled a crit a twenty, That's and minus rolled, one. Uh, you rolled a crit. Fuck off with the minus one. <laughs> uh, and Andy or Rowan rolled a unnatural twenty. So here's how this is going to go. I uh, fucking fall asleep. I just pass out. No, no, no. You start scooting across, but you kind of like overstep your bound and you start rolling towards this man. Satch, being a moth, like dashes forward with his wings and tackles the guy directly to the ground. I uh, fucking roll over and crush the fuck. So out of him. that's what I was about to say. Rowan actually gets ahead of you as you're rolling, and uh, like goes to da die for him. But Rowan actually gets caught by you rolling, and both of you go smashing into a wall. Shut the fuck up. So both of you take a D4 of damage. So because we're so good on our rolls, we. Come yeah, on. That's we got no, 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 not you. You're the one who tackled the guy. You got a oh. crit. He got a crit fell. I punished the crit fells. So, and Rowan didn't get a crit or anything. Just Rowan just... Hey, man. It happens. So, alright. This is why I don't trust the fucking DM. What are you talking about? I was being fair there. So, uh, yeah. So now you tackle the guy. You gotta stop. He comes... I say, hey, man. Mothman. You're being really uncool right now. Can you let me go? Get off me. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking stabs the moth to death. Anyone? And oh, yeah, he, gets, okay. he uses the wish him, tell You got him. You got him death. held down. This is you, man. Yeah. So, why are you really here? I don't know, man. I mean, it's. What do you mean house. you don't know? It's God my put us here. My house. You literally have like the mayor at not held knife point. I had a stranger. In my per point of view, I don't know who that is right there. That's a stranger. I claim this house. So he's in my house. You just, you just claim this house. When, when did you claim it? Uh, like 40... Well, how long have we been here? About two minutes and... Two minutes? Three minutes? I met you guys like ten minutes ago. So yeah, about ten minutes ago I claimed it. How long have you been, been in this town for? Oh, good while. Good while. Why? How long have you been in this town? 20 minutes. You want to get off me? Are you kind of into me? Is that why you're laying on top of me? Yeah, he is. Yeah, gay. Hey, you want to go shank hey, somebody hey, again? Hey, Ten, how about you, like, I don't know, stab him in the hands or the knees or something so he doesn't walk away? You can just can you okay, not do that. Him? Just get off me. Break his I'm not into a moth. Yeah, let me, let, me, let, me sli let me slice his fucking ankle tendons. Let me do that. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, roll me a slide of hand. Slide of hand. Well, I'm oh, that's what yeah, I'm fuck getting it. the favorable he's, he's roll. Held, he's held down. Oh. Fuck it. He's held down. Uh, we'll roll. We'll go with that. Yeah, you got. He pinned down. You sliced both his ankle tendons. I'm gonna say they both. That does like a d6 of damage a piece. Yeah, Mr. Ankle Tendons, both of his ankle tendons are completely fucked. And he goes, oh, he starts screaming bloody murder. He's like, what the fuck is your problem? Oh, my God, I'm fucking, I'm fucking, I can't. You just sliced yeah. my fucking ankle yeah. tendons. Yeah. 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 I'm going to own it. Yeah. I'm, get, I'm getting sick. Oh, I'm about to, oh, yeah, I'm yeah, bleeding out. Bad, I'm bleeding. Like, no, yeah. it's not fun. Please, like, please help really, me. You, you guys are murdering me in cold people. blood. Murdering? Tell, 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 tell us why we shouldn't kill you. Yeah, I, you already did. I'm bleeding out. I'm literally. I can't walk. So we, I am we can bleeding. give the. We can give you the opportunity to live. So tell us why we shouldn't save you. Because you, that would be murder. Save you. Thank you, Tim. Thanks. This is murder. This is mur cold blood murder. That it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, so you guys are like murderers. Got it. Okay, sorry. I, I misjudged you guys <laughs> right, so you when you came into my house. Fucking stab that man to death. Okay. But so he says like, he, like like, he keeps like holding his ankle tendon there. I think and that's bleeding. Tip for tip. Tons yeah, I think of that's tip for tip. You, you cut that guy, now you get cut. I think that's reasonable. Oh, so he, he tries cutting me? No, he's literally holding both his bleeding ankle tendons. And, like, the, the blood's not stopping. Um, let's give him a... Let's give him a con save. Oh, he passes out immediately. Head hits the ground. He's, he's lost a lot of blood already. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what his problem was. He tried to kill the mayor. You don't even bleed that much from your heels, though. Uh, so, I'm going to say, when you cut them, like, he didn't just slice them. Like, he dug them. Like, he severed those bitches. Yeah, yeah. And also, I gave him a constitution save throw. He's probably not dead. He's probably just passed out from all the pain. So. Okay. But, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, now, the, the mayor... Let's uh, do a little bit of rewind on top. As everybody else dove for him, Amp, the mayor stumbles towards you, grabbing his throat that's just been cut, and blood starts gushing from it. He'll be fine. Give nice. me a second. I'm gonna fucking heal him. I'm gonna use my fucking. I'm gonna use my medical kit and fucking start wrapping him up, fixing this. Go to surgery, whatever. I use some magic. Who cares? I don't know. Let's let's get to it, Taco. Just do the thing. All right. Well, yeah. All right. Let's heal him. I want you to crit fail. I want you to crit fail. I want you to crit fail. I don't. I don't roll because this is an attack, Taco. I heal him. Oh, I expend a point and I heal him. Damn it. Oh well. It's probably a little bit worse for wear, but you know, I mean, yeah, well, I, would probably, pretty, I would probably be too if my throat got slit. He slit his entire throat. Do you think you should roll a medicine check? I mean, I can. Make it, make yeah. a medicine check. I'll let you do it at advantage because you got a, a kit. This is pretty I did an advantage grievous. and with expertise, so. Oh, fuck. Uh, that's a plus seven, so a 24. Yep, 24. So, yeah, you immediately, you've, you've seen some cut necks in your your previous life or so so you know exactly how to put what pressure to put to hold the jugular vein down and seemingly with your kit you immediately start you you know cauterize the wound you stop everything you do it all like you've done it before and the mayor just stops and he goes oh, oh thank you yeah. Listen, there is no other way I could see to stop him. I'm sorry, but your throat had to be a sacrifice for the time being. I understand you're mad, but this would have been way better than you dying. I wasn't really mad about that. I was kind of scared, actually. You know, I can't really understand you because you still haven't gotten your, like, uh, oxygen back and all that. You probably want to hold uh, back on speaking until after I fix your throat fully. I can go to the breeze. Thank you. He said he can go to the priest and they can fix him. Oh, well, fucking, we don't need no priest. I'll just fucking heal him again. The okay. red coat people. Fuck them. So you're just using your medicine kit, right? I'm using my medicine kit and I'm going to expend a life point. So I roll a d8 plus my whiz mod. So that's a four. And I roll a 1d6 plus four. So you wrap up his throat and everything and 
That's four plus seven, so that's eleven health. Yeah, so he's so the the health points is not really what I'm getting at here. Um, with a medical care or so, not sure if you'd be able to like save voice box or so uh, from being st slit, but you completely heal the wound. It's stopped. You go like in breakneck speed surgery, sew up the parts that need to be sewed up, and uh, he, he grabs his throat and he just sits down, breathing. And uh, so now you are sitting here with a mayor who is stabilized, safe. But, All uh, right, let's go get your let's go get the rest of your shit fixed. I don't fucking know what he severed, but I can't fix everything. Uh, he he stands up. He's like, I will go to the church. You'll be fine for now. You're not going to die. It's just going to be a bit difficult talking for the time being. Yeah, I'll go to the church. He's going to go to the church. I don't know if that's a smart idea. Oh, yeah, breathe there with magic. That'll heal me. I mean, I'll, I'll accompany you to the church, but I'm, uh, I'll, I'll have to stick around because I, I'm going to be honest here. I'm not sure I trust the priest here in this town. If it worse comes to worst, I'll fucking I'll keep working and we'll see what we can fix. Okay, okay. I'll go I'll contact one of my friends that's part of, that's not with the church, but it practices, okay? Uh, I mean so long as it's not the church, we still have to investigate the church. I stand, I'll stay here then. Oh okay. So he sits back down and he just like grabbing his throat and he looks over at the body of the guy that's passed out with his tendons cut. Um, so, uh, yeah. Where are you guys head? Uh, to your mother's house. Oh. Prison. Yeah, we should probably go to the prison. Yeah. As you guys are heading off to the prison, or the pri or like the guard barracks where the prison is, uh, you know, it's still wacky. It's now nightfall. And it's still wacky Zane. Oh. Um. You guys head... Okay, hold on. Rewind, rewind. So you guys leave the room and head down the stairs of the observatory and walk out and the metal door slams behind you. Okay. And you continue down the road off to the guard station of the prison. Well, hmm. I guess, yeah, let's go see this fucking loser. I don't know why he's in jail, but I, I mean, I guess we gotta find out. I'm gonna throw you I'm a bone here. Jail. As you guys leave out the metal door, you guys pull on the metal door and shut it fully this time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just throwing you a bone. It, yeah. When you pull on it, it actually falls into place. It's like mm. when you, you shut a door with a, that's just a little bit off from where the bolt is. And it like, you know, it, it just needs a little extra pull. Actually... Uh, Grouchy, just like my fucking, uh, what you call it? My balcony door. Oh, bet. Okay, you get what I'm getting at now? Like yeah, a door I get that's it. stuck, it, it needs extra pull to get shut. Yeah. It needs, like, Thor's hammer to fucking close it. Yeah. So. Alright. Uh, heading down to the prison, there's still, it's nightfall now, and everybody is, it's still, it's not stopped. Every, the light, streets are illuminated by random buildings on fire, by people in the street. Uh, there's actually two people racing, like, carriages, and on top of the carriages, people are, like, sword fighting each other on it, and, uh, they both crash into, like, a fruit and vegetable stall that just goes everywhere, and, uh, a guy stop, or as you're going towards there, you get right outside the guard barracks, and there's a man steps out in front of you, and he goes, ah, fellows, travelers, again, hey, what's up, guys, um, Guards are busy right now, so if you guys could come back in the morning, we'd appreciate it. We don't want any trouble. No. Yeah, that's fine. We're not here for trouble, at least. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. we got a we got a signature from the mayor. We got to go talk to a prisoner. Uh, so the guy go or the guy himself is uh, wearing a potato sack or a tunic and you know some pants. He's kind of dirty with uh, some ratty hair. Goes, oh, let me see uh let me see the letter from the mayor. You got a letter from the mayor? There you go, yeah, here. He, I hand him a letter. He picks up the letter, he looks at it, he goes, Huh. This is really a letter from the mayor. So he folds it up and he goes, Alright, well, okay. And he walks right inside and he shuts the door behind him. Um and you've Yeah. <laughs> walks right into the guard station behind you. 
All right, now we're gonna find what's his name. What's his name? Evan. Ever. What was his oh, name? Evan. Evan. All right, let's go find this douchebag. So, uh, yeah, that, that was happened, in front of the prison in, house. Yeah. I was inside yeah. the prison house. Yeah, you wouldn't happen to know where a guy named uh, not only the piece of paper, uh, Evan uh, is, right? That guy's gone. All right, cool. Well, then I guess let's. He just also walked off with around. your paper. Oh uh, well, fuck him. And it okay. Hold on, let's roll back. He stopped you in front of right when you got outside the prisoners' bar uh, barracks to the guardhouse. Uh, he stepped out like from the side and, and talked to you, and then walked right into the guardhouse and shut okay. the door behind him. Well, then let's enter. Okay. As you enter, uh, you see a door shutting, and there you kind of catch a glimpse of that guy you were just talking to walking through. And All right. you walk up to the front desk, and it's uh, a little bit more spacious than the one in Seacumber, but it is still a standard kind of, it looks like a waiting room, and there's a lady sitting at a desk, and uh, you guys walk up to the desk, I assume. Uh, yeah, I want to ask the lady at the desk, hey, uh, that guy that just walked through that door over there on point the door, do you know who he is? So she's sitting there, like, writing on a piece of paper, and she looks up, and then she looks back down, she writes some more. She sighs. She looks up. The ADF goddamn time thinking he's funny. <laughs> hey, I'm doing the comedic bit again. She goes, oh, what did you ask? All right, listen, ma'am. I understand, like, your job fucking sucks and you don't want to be here, but can you help us out? What do you want? Uh, that guy that just walked into over that door, uh, did you see him? Yeah, he had, like, a letter from the mayor or something like that. Yeah, uh, do you know who he was? Was uh, he a guard here? No. No, he's not a guard. He's a visitor. I think he's visiting somebody. All right, everyone. Let's go kill him. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, we're going to go kill that guy. I'm sorry. You might want to call a guard here soon. Wait, there's guards in the back. Are you? Wait, are you? Is this a riot? Are you rioting the guardhouse? No, we're not. No, we're not rioting. Just that guy stole something from us. We're going to go kill him now. Thanks. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, do you want me to like let you in the back or something? I guess. Uh, you know, it'd be nice if you could let us in there. If I'm, this guy is a douchebag, and we're gonna go kill him. If I don't let you in there, you're gonna break the door, aren't you? Probably. What's up, guys? I don't want to. I don't want to fix the door. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, then just so open the door. He pull, you know? he pull, she pulls a lever, and the door swings right open. And she's like, "Just please, like, don't break my doors. I, I don't want to have to replace them. Please. We won't break your doors." So she starts writing back on the paper. She's already not paying attention to you or whatever. As you guys walk through like two hallways they section out and come into a big like opening room and you see mr uh person that just took your piece of paper from you walking with a guard uh right in front of you about probably 30 feet away or so and uh they're just walking uh to a, a door in front of them all right well uh hey does anyone want to actually wait no i got a great idea uh, hey, I need one of you to hit me in the face. I'll do it. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna walk up to, uh... Just give me a, give me a D4 for, for like, punching. I'm mean, gonna make you do an attack roll because, and, like, he's helping you do it, so... Three. It's a weak-ass little bitch. You thing. roll it twice. I took eight damage. Because I'm vulnerable to bludgeoning. Five. Let's go with eight damage. That seems better. Okay. And it takes eight damage. Uh, you you walk up and you just deck, and the porcelain kind of cracks on the face for a second. Fuck yeah, works it's, for me. That's that's your teammate. You punch, poke. Okay, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, it works for me. We wanted it. I did want it. That is true. So uh, as I want to go punch. Actually, the guard I want to go. Like, I want to go chase after that guard and say that motherfucker uh, robbed me. So oh, yeah. Uh, as you like, so this room is. Uh, it seems like it's got desks lined up across each side of the room, and it's got like a carpet leading down, uh, like a, a um, like a district attorney's office. If you guys know what that looks like, uh, more yeah. like a government building itself. So you could tell that people people have their desks, but the middle aisle is for them to walk all the way down. And uh, actually, as you punch them, or you punch, as I get punched in the fucking mouth, as you yeah. get punched. <laughs> They crit it on their perception roll, so they complete. They immediately, like, turn around to the sun. You getting thwacked, and uh, you start running towards them. 
And they see the guard like stands in front. He pulls out a sword. He's like, "Halt!" Yeah, that asshole. What are you doing in me? here? Huh? Hey, that asshole robbed me. And he looks back at the guy and he looks at you. He's like, "No, he's got a letter from the mayor." No, that was my letter from the mayor. He fucking robbed me. Me and my companion got into an argument over it, and the fucking they hit me too. These assholes don't. How, fucking how'd you get in the front door? People. Did she let you in? Yes, she let us in. I'm going to have a. T- as he says that, a knife comes through his throat, and the guy like grabs it or like pulls it back and like knocks on her. He's like, "Fucking hell, guys!" And he's like, "You don't pay me the money I asked for when we walk in the thing, and now you're causing the trouble." Like, I'm trying to do something here. He picks up the sword and he dips back through the door that was right behind him. All right, let's go fuck him up. So, as you guys, like, run in, uh, you guys Actually, chase after him, I take it, right? Uh, I'm going to fu- I'm gonna see if I can't get this guard back up, first off. Okay, so uh, you stop the Y'all need guard. to chase him, yeah. So, the rest of you, I, I assume you take off after him. Right. Yeah. So, oh, uh, athletics. As you guys, no, 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 don't roll athletics. So as you guys come into like the uh, the next room, uh, it's long. It's j- shaped the same way where there's one pathway directly from one end of the room to the other. But on each side now are cells, and all the cells are made of iron bars. And the guy's at the very edge of the room, and he stops. And he tur- he's standing with his back to the wall. It's probably about forty five feet away from you guys. And he's he's got his hand on this lever. He's like, all right, guys. I hate to do this to you, but, you know, it's business. And he pulls the lever and all the cell doors open. Mm. Thank you for listening to another episode of Prisoners of Gazar. If you enjoyed what you heard... Leave a like, comment, or subscribe on whatever you're watching or listening to this on. Um, I also want to say thanks to uh, the players. They've been toughing through with this story. I know it seems all over the place sometimes, but the big first plot reveal is right around the corner. So all you guys that's been sticking with us through it, really appreciate you. And uh, bear with us just a little bit longer. It's all about to go fucking tits up in like one, two episodes, basically. So I'll see you guys in the next episode.